back. I can't be. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Holy crap. Words cannot describe how freaking excited and nervous I am right now. <laughs> I missed you all so much. <laughs> Oh my goodness! Oh my god! Okay, I don't know where I should look at the chat anymore. I'm not a professional at this anymore. What am I doing? Hi! I have so many thank yous to say for everybody that is resubbing right now. Um, I seriously appreciate that. Ew! I'm just now seeing the chat and the little sidebar right now. I need to fix that. It's a little smashed looking. But you know what? This is a new setup that we're trying out. So, there. And I'll work out a few but we'll get it there but uh, <laughs> um if you guys are new here and you don't know i was just on a eight week break um i had my baby boy his name is Ryder, which a lot of you thought was absolutely freaking hilarious because in my 100 baby challenge we had the durr family and it just so happens that the name i picked for my baby was Ryder. <laughs> but he is doing great um He's not really going to be part of the channel, so I know a bunch of you really want to see him and stuff like that. If you'd like to see pictures of him, I've had I've shared a couple in the past on the Discord, but he's not going to be appearing here on the channel very much because you know I respect his privacy, my privacy. So we're all doing that. But hi, my babies! I have to say hi to so many of you again. So let me go ahead and start the long process of saying thank you to all the people real quick. So, Meg, thank you so much for that prime sub. Jeanette, thank you. The Sim Girl, thank you. Miss Michelle, thank you. Athena, thank you. Hannah Banana, thank you. Mama Moo Child, thank you. Ginger, <laughs> Ginger, thank you so much. And Ginger, thank you so much for gifting all of those subs. Good lordy, child. Thank you, Ginger. If you're soon to get this up from Ginger, please say thank you. I'm Drake, thank you so much for the fuck. Thank you so much for the resub. Michelle, thank you for the resub. Laura, thank you for the resub. Uh, Sesame Big, oh, thank you for, um, so much for the resub. La, 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 la. Thank you so much for the resub, Danielle. Thank you for the resub, Liv Runs. Thank you. Oh my goodness, uh, Ginger. Thank you for your resub as well. Liz, thank you. Bubbly, thank you. Rag does guacamole. Princess Ice, innocent soul child. Innocent soul child, baby. You've been here for so long. A Smith, thank you. Ging the beans, to meet the pancakes, bells, mini mittens. DC Taylor, girl with the red hair, and of course my husband Max Fox, who started the whole thing and subbed beforehand but i'm doing great i'm feeling great i've had just a wonderful time with baby boy also uh i didn't plan this out but today is my one year um one year anniversary as a twitch uh partner i've been streaming for over a year like a year and a half now i've been streaming for a year and a half but i got partner in june so it's my one year anniversary for having a partner status in twitch which is really funny like i didn't plan that out when i picked the week that i was going to come back it just kind of happened like that but oh my goodness hi my babies i missed you all so much <laughs> I'm out milking, milking my cow. Nothing could keep me from this. Why are you milking a cow? <laughs> oh my goodness. But, oh. I just, I can't. I can't with how much I missed you guys. I'm serious. Um, what we're going to be doing today is we're going, oh yeah, and I did my hair. I just got my hair cut. So it's blonde a little bit more and I have some bangage. So that's the, about the only change there. Um, I've been so much of your YouTube content while you were on break. I ran out of things to watch. I'm so sorry, Emmy, but I thought I'd be posting more YouTube videos, but I just ended up taking care of my baby so much. So I'll be better at that here soon. I promise I'll be getting back to the whole thing. Um, if things are a little clunky, like the chat box right now doesn't look great, so I'll have to fix that later. Um, things are a little clunky i'm a little clunky please give me forgiveness it's been eight weeks since i've streamed so we're getting back to it though i changed my setup and things so if things don't sound great or my camera's buggy let me know in chat and i'll try and go back and fix that later or tell me in the discord because i'll see that better so if hopefully audio is good hopefully sounds good and all that mumbo jumbo but oh my gosh so um, Gee, thank you so much for putting out that Discord link as well. Oh my gosh. Okay, but without further ado, we're going to be getting back into 100 Baby tonight because I didn't know what else to do. <laughs> so, without further ado, let's get into the Sims, guys. Let's bring back these old vibes. 
I'm also smiling so much, my freaking head starting to hurt, like in the back, because I'm like smile mu smiling, like the muscles are hurting so much. But for those of you that are new, oh gosh, and uh, don't remember who everybody is, here is our lovely Miss Breeder. My breeder. She has had, oh my God, how many kids are we at? I didn't even think to look. Why didn't I think to look at how many children we freaking had so far? Oh my goodness. Okay, so we've had a breeder. And uh, my hopefully my sense is not laggy. But who do we all have? We have bleeder and feeder are the twins that are young adults, and she is our vampire, and he is a human baby. Um, and then we have Ch Chatter and his sister Coriander, and they just so happen to be sitting next to each other. So they are twins. I believe their dad's Goopy Carbonara, and their dad was somebody else. I forget. And then we have the triplets. Oh my god, that's right. We had triplets. Oh no, not my Sims being laggy. Oh, I'm scared now. I don't want it to be laggy. But we have um, the twins were children. They have since aged up. Oh my goodness. Uh, ha, ha, ha. uh, so we have Amanda, that's right, we have Cider, who's up here. It's hard to freaking color and, like, pick out outfits for Sims that are, like, colorful. So, is it the best I could do for them? I wanted them to have, like, really cool pops of color that went with their skin and hair tone, so these are the best I could do for them. We have Cider, and then we have Spider who grew up into such an adorable little teen. Freaking look at him. He looks so stinking cute. Oh my gosh. Um, and then we have the other triplets from Patchy the Scarecrow. We have Hader. Oh my gosh, my game. We have Hader. Slender. And Harvester. God, all these names are freaking killing me again. Oh my gosh. And then we have Teeter and Totter were the last toddler babies. So there's Totter in his cute little outfit. I did go ahead and change some of them outfits because they'll be staying uh, toddlers for a minute. And then we have Miss Teeter over here. And then we had the very last thing I did before you guys left was we gave birth to Father Winter's babies. Um, and so we have Colander. And we have Carolder. Carol, it was Caroler, so it was Carol, Carol Durr. Oh my gosh. There's just too much going on. Oh my goodness. How am I, how, okay. I have not played The Sims. Since I have not played The Sims, freaking since since I since since I gave birth. Oh my gosh! So I don't know what to do now. Like, how do I play the game again? I don't know how to do that. Next dad should be the new Don Lothario. <gasps> I don't have him up, Emmy. Since this is a previous world, he didn't load in. So I haven't I haven't really got him ready. Yeah, I haven't I haven't played the Sims since April, so I don't even know how to do this anymore. And yes, I think to me it looks a little laggy as well. So you know what I'ma do. Boop. Oh my gosh, my computer doesn't know how to stream anymore. I feel like I'm a little laggy, but we'll see how things progress. If it's super bad, I'll have to fig fiddle with that before tomorrow. <laughs> Can you do another Sister Wives challenge? I should go back and do the Sister Wives, honestly. <laughs> oh my gosh, okay, so. Okay, I need to go count the birth certificates first. I need to figure out exactly how many kids we're at. So 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. So we've had 30 babies. <laughs> 30, 
guys, what am I gonna do? What am I doing? <laughs> what am I doing? All right, I guess we get right into it. Okay, it looks like the game's running pretty smoothly right now, and I'll take that. Okay, so, um, me over here not really caring about The Sims, just happy to see you, LOL, and ready for baby stories. Oh my gosh. He's at a phase right now where he is just spitting up every bottle. Like, not a gob. Like, he's not throwing up the entire bottle, but he's, like, spitting up with every bottle, and it's great. I have a lovely McMoppa Frope. McMoppa Frope? Oh, God. Mick Mocha Frappe. God, I'm already screwing up my words. This is gonna be bad. Mm. I'm definitely here for more sister wives. Should I do the same guy or should I make a different guy? I guess we did Jack Hammer once. Oh god, what am I doing? I'm letting the game play and I'm not and I'm not working on things. I've really fallen behind. Okay, how how are the how are the tri how the the triplet toddlers doing? Okay, we're doing pretty good. Ooh, so you just need imagination play. So I'm gonna have you come over here. Play with your little dollies to get your skill up. Oh god, please let these triplets be ready to age up here. Okay, they're not bad. They're not bad. Okay, you play dolls as well. Get you going. Okay, uh, where's the other one? Hater, Slender. Slender, what do you need? Communication, imagination. Okay, you also need imagination? Why are you all needing the same thing? Can I do imagination play with this? No, of course not. <gasps> Wait, I have a Wibby Wabbit tablet. Where's the freaking Wibby Wabbit tablet? Is it with any of the children? Has anybody seen the Wibby Wabbit tablet? Hello? I don't know where it's at. Does Totter have it? Teeter? No, Teeter and Totter don't have it. All right, well, we're going to be a little behind on that one. Oh, my God, and i got to work on other kids. Ah, there's five toddlers. Guys, <laughs> this is terrible. Maybe this was a bad. Yeah, Mom Brain. Mom Brain, this is not a good time. <laughs> Why did I come back with a 100 baby challenge? This is not a soft re-entering into the world. This is like throwing you to the. This is like throwing me under the bus. Oh my gosh. What do I do? Tyler, thank you so much for that recent sweetheart. I'm so happy to see you back. Twitch is not the same without you. No one measures. Oh, there they go. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so um, what am I doing? Okay, and then I have to have people with the babies. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, <laughs> guys, what am I doing? This is not a good idea. Uh, okay. Uh, oh god, I don't even remember how to take care of infants. Um, um, tummy time together. Tummy time, we gotta do tummy time. That's what you gotta do with them. It's tummy time. Oh my god. Oh my god. And I need to go, what am I even doing setting up all this stuff with the babies? I need to go find a baby daddy. I need to get pregnant. At least I have a lot of kids to help out. Are Chowder and Coriander in school still, or are they adult? Nope, they're- No? <gasps> Chowder and Coriander can age up! Yes! <laughs> Dude, tummy time's the worst. Also, I have to do tummy time with Ryder, and he is not a fan. Tori, thank you so much for that 11 months of recent, sweetheart. Welcome back. Thank you! <laughs> uh. How is things looking, guys? Is it laggy for everybody, or like, what's the situation? Because I need, no. I'm trying to decide if I like the widescreen camera or if I want to go back to the square. So if you guys have opinion, can I click on him? Why you don't let me click on you? Oh, it says you're asleep, but you're not asleep. Well, stop doing what you're doing. Ew. Catch up to yourself. Eh. Looking good, looking good. Happy partner anniversary. Thank you, Amanda. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, 
I really like the widescreen. Okay. I've been debating. I don't know how I feel about it yet. I'm trying to figure it all out. I have to figure out my setup. What's best, you know? Oh god, I haven't tested out saving my game in a while. What if it doesn't save? What if it's all a disaster? Impala Oh, thank god. Impala Girl, thank you so much for that six months resub, sweetheart. Thank you. Brig, did I say thank you to you earlier? Missed you, darling. Glad to see your face. I'm glad to see your face, too. Athena, good God. Thank you for all the bits. Holy crap. Even though I put the jar away because I was wondering if that was breaking my thing up a little bit. If that was it too much for it right now. Okay. Um. Feeder. No, bleeder. Feeder? Feeder. I don't mean to be upset about what you're doing over here, but could you instead not do that? Could you instead pick him up? What am I doing? I still need to have her go frickin' get pregnant. Who do we know? The last dad was Father Winter, and the one before that was Dominic Fires. I'm lagging, but I'm in the barn, but I'm still here. <laughs> Real part, what a wonderful surprise to see you on tonight. I'm back, honey. <laughs> oh my goodness. Let's see. What am I doing? I missed you, okay? I actually wouldn't be surprised if it was causing issues. Megan's was wiggling <laughs> a couple days ago. Oh, God. Um, what did- what is these- Oh, is this like the family dynamics? God, I don't even remember. What- this game's a whole new game to me right now, guys. I know it's been a minute since I played and stuff, but... It definitely doesn't feel. We know Paul! Paul Lahote from Twilight! Oh, God, is that a werewolf? I'm not here for a werewolf right now. <sighs> so many of these people that we know are, are my children. Have we had a baby with Vlad? No. Have we had a baby with Vlad? Have we had a baby with Vlad? I don't think so, because his romantic... Hobo Jesus, do we even know Hobo Jesus? Oh, no, you hear my puppers barking? It's Raya. If it's a dog barking, it's Raya. Yes, we have. He sounds familiar. Well, he sounds familiar. He's freaking Vlad. He's Vladdy Daddy. Of course he sounds familiar. But it, it, it would have popped up. He would be in my romance section if that were the case. And he's not. He's not in my romance Um, how we had a view? How about Jesus? Why are some men appearing and some men not? I have empty spaces. Okay. I'm hearing a lot of hobo Jesuses out there. And I'm, I wonder if he's even a possible daddy. Someone a sim. Oh god, I don't know if I remember. Okay, it's it's hobo Jesus. No, that's not how you spell Jesus. Jesus the legend, I believe was his full name. Hobo Jesus the legend not found. Alright. Oh my god, wasn't Vlad flirting with your kid? He was, wasn't he? He was flirting with one of my children. <gasps> Ew! Ew! What? Feeder! Feeder was out here flirting with her sister-in-law and Patchy? No, not Patchy, the one that's daddy's to I one of your... <laughs> Hi, sister! <laughs> Thanks. Um, King Triton? Do I have him here? We have not had a baby with Vladdy Daddy. I might have to have one with Vladdy Daddy, but why? Why was Feeder flirting? Have any of my other children had romantic interests? Okay, so Bleeder hasn't. Chowder does. Oh, wait, I'm supposed to age up Chowder. Guys, what am I doing? 
I don't know what to do anymore. I just, I <laughs> oh, also, guys, tomorrow, um, I just realized yes or today, Disney Dreamlight Valley update is coming out tomorrow at 9 a.m. Eastern. Well, I think 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time for me. I have to double check that time. But I will be uh, live streaming tomorrow morning as well with Disney Dreamlight Valley. So if you guys are interested in that, um, you could potentially watch us there. I might have Laddie Daddy come over first just because I know we haven't had a kid with him. Because he would be romantic relationships if we had had a child with him and he's an available daddy. Wait, and he's already here? Why is he? Why is he look like that? Why is he already here? He was ready. He was ready, guys. Laddie Daddy wants it. Laddie Daddy wants it. Oh, I hate how this is set up. I have to go through 17 different things just to, just to find him. All right, bleeder. Bleeder. God, breeder. You're on, honey. Ew, why does my sims take so minute to load their quality? Oh, God, and chowder and coriander are adding a cheddar. Not chowder. Chowder and coriander aging on one, two, three. She's a genius. She's a genius perfectionist and an overachiever. This girl is a prim and proper lady. She is a prim and proper lady. I knew she was like that. Okay, well, she has to, uh, she has to be here for the knowledge. So, you know, um, nerd brain. Why not? And Cheddar aged up. One, two, three. Cheddar is proper. A child of the ocean and a foodie. Aw, Cheddar always seemed like a foodie to me. Let's give him the uh, a chef uh, career path in the future. Oh, we gotta get them kids job. They have to help us pay for... Oh, there's so many things to think about. There's so many things to think about. Why have I done this to myself? Why didn't I start off with something easier? I don't know, because I hit myself. Where do you get your Sims furniture, Mandy? Because I have to download again when I fix my Sims. Michelle, I, um, all of the furniture basically in my Sims is, a lot of it is made by Peacemaker. But if you would like to see even more of where I get my CC and custom content, I do have a Pinterest uh, that you can go ahead and check out. I do, I have a question. I'm wondering. Don't, you might see me type something, but... Yeah, I know that command doesn't work. Damn. All right, well, my Pinterest is Hayish Mandy OG because somebody took a regular Hayish Mandy. So if you want to go to my Hay or my Pinterest, I also save a lot of where I get my furniture, clothing, and other sorts of CC for The Sims. Uh, so you can go ahead and check that out there too. Uh, one of my moderators has my Discord link right there. So you can also hit that if you want to go ahead and check that out in the future. But my Pinterest, if you need to find it later, is Hayish Mandy OG. Um, let's see. What am I doing? What am I doing again? Oh, I was going to get them jobs. Well, here we go. I got to get them jobs. Is Vladdy Daddy still here? Is Breeder out on the hunt still? No, Vladdy Daddy must have left. Did Vladdy Daddy leave? Vladdy Daddy. He did leave. Oh, don't be all coy, Vladdy Daddy. We know what you're here for. You heard that I was in the market for new daddies. And what am I doing? Is somebody taking care of this kid? No. Could you pick this kid up? There's so many things in here. Actions. No. Uh, more to, um, friendly. Can I, how, how do you pick up? Pick up. Oh, is the other kid still doing? Okay, uh, uh, business, business proper lady, and he was going to do food stuff. So food stuff. Thank you for joining the world of the workforce. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hi, girl with the red hair. Girl with the red hair and Negan have been holding things down for me by streaming for all of you guys so you guys can get together. So I hope you guys have enjoyed uh, watching their streams over there as well. Glady Daddy being cold. <laughs> oh my god, I love to watch your streams. They're so amazing. Yes, I'm back. Thank you. Oh, that's an appropriate name for right now. Uh, okay. Now that you have him. Oh, no, not that. Not that. Uh, uh, friendly activities. Tummy time. Friendly activities. 
tummy time. We need to get these. Have we found, has anybody else been doing the 100 baby challenge? Has anyone found an easier way to level these kids up besides getting 10? Uh, I mean, I could do the food thing again. That was pretty quick, but I feel like that's a little cheatsy nowadays. It's a little too easy. Wait, no, it's not because you have to get them to sit up first before they can sit in a high chair. <gasps> oh, Vladdy's here. Oh, Grandma! Mama Durr! What's up, Mama Durr? Mama Durr is paying us a visit. What's up, Mama? Well, I'm about to get pregnant again, so I hope you don't mind having another grandbaby. Oh, wait a second. How many kids do I have in this house right now? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. We got space for one kid right now. Oh, I don't want to moot out bleeder and feeder. No, I don't want to move them out. I just got them back. Okay, well, we got a flatter Vladdy McDaddy. Let's start with that. Watch the dollhouse. I know Mom Alder is going to wreck the dollhouse. She always says, oh my gosh, are the toddlers doing what they need to be doing? Are they ready to age up? No, you're not. Because I need to free up that imagination play. Oh my god. <laughs> Okay, but all the kids are working pretty well over here. Oh, we're, go oh, we're getting Lag City over here. Lag, Lag City. Lag, Lag City. Hold on. Give my game a second to catch up to itself. There's a lot of people in this house. It's hard to catch up. Hide your kids, hide your wife. <laughs> all right. Um, we have a decent friendship with Vladdy Daddy right now, so I'm gonna go ahead and go in with the flirt and see how this goes. I mean, Breeder's pretty, uh, she's pretty good at this, so shouldn't be too complicated. Oh, Vlad, you don't need that. So hopefully this goes pretty well. Delete! Thank you so much for that prime resub, sweetheart! Yeah, I miss you! I miss you too! Oh my god. Okay, flirt. Oh gosh, I shouldn't do too many flirts in a row. I don't know if that'll peg me for something, but a compliment his appearance. You know, Vlad has never looked better. He's he's never looked better. You know, Vlad, you're looking awfully pale tonight. Uh, I was wondering if he wanted to. <laughs> woo woos. Are you interested in the woo woos? Oh no no, pickup lines. Pickup lines never work. Pickup lines always get me in trouble nowadays. Oh my god, hi Minnie! Congratulations to you and baby boy. I've been counting the days. Hi Golden! <laughs> I have missed you so much. Hi Kay! Okay, milking's all done. I'm all in now. <laughs> hey, 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 Gladdy, I didn't invite you in for just anything. We're here. <gasps> he doesn't like my light! He's frowny facing at my lap. I did not ask you to come in here and wreck my decorum. I am here to have a baby. Oh, that's quick. Well, let's first kiss it first. I mean, it's improper to have a baby if you haven't kissed the person yet. Hey, I said first kiss. Stop, stop deselecting what I tell you to do. No, don't you dare go after those toddlers. They don't need you. They have umpteen other siblings that could take care of them. And this is not like the Duggars. Absolutely not. If any of you have watched that documentary, uh, no, not try for a baby. If any of you have watched that documentary right now, it's not quite, it's kind of like that, but it's not like that in the, in the nasty ways. It's only like that in the other way. You know, let's just try for a baby. Let's see what he says. <laughs> what, what's the worst thing we can do? Awesome move, uh -huh. Hi, Mama. Glad to see you back. Hi, Simsy! <laughs> Bree has learned that Vlad is woohoo intro. Oh, we've learned about Vlad's woohoo interests. All I can imagine is just cold. Maybe I'm thinking Twilight. Oh, he's excited. He's, he's flying on in there. Oh, he's already there! 
He is already ready and willing. See, I knew Vladdy Daddy wouldn't be hard. Oh, should we look away? Do, 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 do. What a beautiful painting! This lady with her cats. Very interesting stuff over, over here. Yes, lady with cats. <laughs> with his bunny slippers and everything. <laughs> Not done yet. Not done. Keep keep looking at the cats. I like how 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 smug that one looks. It looks like he's going like. And then and then the other one is hidden behind this. Oh, he's looking directly at us. What a scowling little kitty cat. She looks. She kind of looks like me if I had black hair. Oh, coy little smile. I can do that. Are we done? Oh, they're done. Okay. All right, hurry before Vladdy Daddy gets finished. Is okay. Our shower's broken. That's the noise I was hearing. Take a pregnancy test. And then, could I have Cheddar? Oh wait, no. I shouldn't have him come fix that yet. He'll walk in on his mom taking a pregnancy test, which is awkward. I'm <laughs> cackling. Should we look away? <laughs> what a beautiful flower. <laughs> Let's go! Hi, honey! I am so glad that I'm looking through the chat, guys, and I'm reading everybody's comments and stuff like that, because, you know, I may not respond to every comment. Yes, we're pregnant! Okay. Laddie, you can leave. We don't need you anymore. Your services have been done. Thank you for your your donation to the cause, to the breeder cause. Thank you. Uh, now... Oh, we're telling him we're pregnant. Apparently, he's going to text his deceased mother. And let her know that he's uh, having a baby. Laddie! Yeah, Laddie Daddy, I thought you'd be more excited. You seem okay. Oh. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, blah, blah. Never mind, you're not excited. I'm sorry I asked. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna let my game catch up to itself. All right, so we're pregnant again. <gasps> what are you doing? You should be working on imagination. No. Oh wait, I guess. Do they need fed? I guess that's a thing that they need, don't they? They need sustenance. Eh, I'm sure they're fine. What about you? You're working hard. Yes, you're done. All right, get out of here. You're ready to age up. I gotta get your siblings on the same playing field now. You, you don't need sleep. Sleep's for the week. Get up. Playing with the babies. They're playing with the dolls now. Hurry! We don't have time for your shenanigans. We need to age you guys up because uh, having this many toddlers is too stressful. Absolutely not. Oh my god, I didn't even check on the babies. Dang it. <laughs> Alright, it's obvious. You two are not doing what I need you to do. So it's time to move bleeder and feed her out sadly i need to make room for her to get pregnant again <gasps> but if i make oh but if i move both of them out she's got room for triplets and i don't want her to have triplets i don't want her to have triplets i can't take triplets right now i'm going so slow do i move one out i guess we leave it up to chance maintain sim move sim into a new household. You're starting your own house, buddy. Feeder, same with you. As much as I love you, honey, you're so freaking beautiful. I love you so much, but I need to make room for more children. Um, maintain, move Sim into other household. You are going to be moving in with your brother. All right, so they are out. We have left room for more children. <laughs> no, no, no. Did somebody destroy the dollhouse? I'm hearing somebody say something about it. No, it's fine. No, not the Imagination Land dollhouse. Imagination Land house. Am I missing something? Did something get destroyed I'm not thinking of? Mm-hmm. Um. Okay. 
I'm going to focus on the kids. I'm focusing on the kids right now. Wait a second. The teens, they need to learn skills. Oh my god, that's right. They have to do things too. I thought I could just let the teens go. I can't. Okay, well, it looks like you have mostly fitness that you've worked on. Oh my god. So why don't you go, like, learn to do that? Uh... You are majority of a blank slate, so why don't you learn how to play the piano? The piano. Spider! Spider, what you got? Spider? You know, we are a dance family here. So why don't you just dance a crap ton? Oh, wait. I have to have somebody do the infants. I'm not paying attention to the infants, and they're the ones that I need to, to pay attention to more. There. I'm 35 minutes late. How dare you, Alley Bear? I wanted you to be on time. Disappointment. Disappointment. Okay, they're on the floor. Do you really need to be sleeping right now? Not really. Cheddar! Come take care of this baby. Oh, no, not that way. Not that way. Oh, God, that's right. There's two more toddlers. Did the rules change? I thought they... Okay, so Peter Bear, the teens have to get up to skill level 2, typically. Otherwise, they won't get an A in school. So, the, yeah, they do have to just have an A in school, but they have to get up their skills to a certain level. Otherwise, it won't let them go up to an A. So, that's why I focus on that at times. Alright. If I get off track, I need the entire chat to yell at me to focus on the infants. So somebody, if I start doing something else, I need the entire chat to just keep yelling at me to pay attention to the frickin' infants. Because I am getting way too off track right now. Actions. Friendly activities. No. How can I pick her up? Can I pick her up? I'll wake up. Ah, uh, it's been a while since I played. Peanut butter jelly, it's okay. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Oh my gosh. Okay. I think we're doing okay. Wake up this child. Are you doing tummy time stuff? You better be. Also, does anybody else just love how Carolinder or Carolder, Carolder, uh, has these cute little glasses on? They're so freaking cute on her. Okay, baby care, pick up. Two milestone unlocked. Yes. Get more milestones. You can do that's about how Ryder acts too. He just cries into the ground. Do not distract him. Do not distract him. They don't need you. Okay, good. Okay, 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 okay. Quick. Coriander. Don't do anything else. Don't do anything else. I need you to do tummy time with her. She just so stinking cute. She's such a cute little baby. Used to remind you to hydrate, now it's <laughs> taking care of the toddlers. Honestly, I need more of that. I've got coffee over here um, because I was a baby and I wanted it. And, you know, Max doesn't say no, so. Uh, tummy time. All right, do that first. Tummy time. Uh, I was hoping you'd do tummy time in the same room. That way I could watch both of you. But I guess we'll make this hard. Mama, Dora, you're leaving. Did she break the dollhouse before she left? It's still going. It's still going. Wait, do you need this? Okay, you're, you're doing good still. You're ready to age up, so I don't care what you do. And you are close to aging up. What are you doing? Teeter? Teeter, I would like you... To play the xylophone. Why are she just disappeared? Peter, I would like you to play the xylophone. You need to work on your skills. Oh, you have to pee. Oh, you have a diaper. I don't really care, so. And then, no, don't nap in that. I clicked the wrong button. Don't nap in it. I want you to play in this. A whole bunch. Get that movement skill up. Keep going, kids. Oh my god, everybody's gonna start yelling at me to do this stuff with the infants. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm doing it. I'm getting back on track. Okay. How many milestones do the babies have? They need 10 milestones and they need to be able to <gasps> lift head unlocked. Heck yeah. Okay. 
What was my old rules? <laughs> I need to have 10 milestones. Few milestones. And be able to crawl. I think that was the specification. One, two, three, four. Just four? Mm. What about your sister? Oh, three. God. <laughs> this is terrible. This is tragic. <gasps> Bells is telling me to save. That's actually a very smart idea. I should do that. Um. Hi. It was Def 10 milestones. And I think one of them had to be to learn how to crawl, right? Or could I just say it's 10 milestones and not? But I basically have to get them up to crawling because it'll be too hard to figure out how to get them to get to milestones if I didn't. Three gold skills. Yeah. Thank you, Ragdos, for putting that up there for me again, by the way. I really appreciate that. Friendly activities. Dang it, I can't tell him to do more tummy time until they've gone through all those. <gasps> that was all you were gonna do with her? Absolutely not. <gasps> oh, dang it. Okay. Pay attention to the sister because she only has one queued up. Not Mandy becoming a rebel on her maternity leave. Wait, why am I a rebel? <gasps> Lifted head milestone! Thank you. Don't, you're not done with her. Don't think you're done. God, we so much, so much time. Okay, friend, I do this tummy time. Because they have to be able to roll onto their back and be able to roll onto their bellies. Right? And they have to be able to lift their head. And then they can work on sitting. Oh, <laughs> now, okay, when I'm playing with the infants right now, I'm just thinking of my baby and how we are doing tummy time with him and how he's not quite at this stage where he can lift his head up like this. He can get about like this far off the ground before he's just like, oh, it's easier to sleep. <laughs> There's a tent that helps the imagination skill go up super quick for toddlers. Oh, should I be having them do that instead? Mmm. Wait, is it this tent? Is it this tent? Should I be having them do this instead for imagination? Mmm, fascinating. How are we doing over here, kids? Are we on? You are almost there. You're gonna get it in like two seconds. Your sister, on the other hand, is taking a minute. But she's already queued in, so I'm gonna leave her there. Colder. How's you doing over here, Cheddar? Tummy time is honestly the worst. It's awful, and I just like want to know if there's a better way to, for me to help strengthen his neck muscles. Because I'm just like, ah, when are you going to learn how to pick your head up? We do this every day, <laughs> and he still hasn't figured. Like, if he's at a slight angle, he's a pro at holding his head up. He does great. But like on the ground with belly down, he's like, mm, absolutely not. And he has not even tried to roll over yet. But I guess he's only eight weeks, so I don't know what's right and wrong for that. I'm 30 and I hate tummy time. Dude, I sleep on my belly every night now. Every Ever since I've had baby boy, I've been sleeping on my belly every single night. And it's been fantastic. I curl up like a little homeless lady. <laughs> it's been great. I miss laying on my belly. Why don't you want to let me sneak in more tummy time and erections? Doesn't let me spam it. Friendly activities, tummy time. Well, sometimes it does and sometimes it doesn't. Why doesn't it always want to let me do the tummy time interaction? <gasps> Carolder! Roll over onto back milestone unlocked. Wait, does that mean she can practice sitting? Activities. <gasps> she can! We should practice sitting. I think. 
activities. Practice sitting. Honey, you were you were above your brother. Dang it, see, see, it did it again. Why doesn't it list all the interactions? Ugh. Oops, I always keep hitting the wrong things. I have to sleep on my side, like a little <laughs> sleepy. If anybody doesn't understand where I'm getting that reference of I curl up like a little homeless lady, I'm going to be upset. Somebody needs to tell me in the chat if they understand where that is from. And I'll give you a hint. It's from a movie that I watched recently. Spoil and treat yourself. <laughs> I was so excited to sleep on my stomach after my twins were born, but then I couldn't because it hurt because I was breastfeeding. So after that, whoa, see? <laughs> different struggles, different struggles. Activities practice sitting. And the activities practice sitting. And the activities practice sitting. Do, 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 do. Tori! Yay, you got it! Yes, that line is from wreck and Ralph. Vanellope says it when she curls up in her little bed. And I curl up like a little homeless lady. <laughs> Alright, practice sitting. No! Spider, no! Put him down, spider! Spider, no! No, spider, go! No! No, 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 no! Nine! Nine, Vine Heinrich! Nine! Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I hate it when the other kids just swoop in. It tastes like no. No time at all. Somebody's ready to crumb grab those babies. That's the good thing and the bad thing about having so many people in this house. Everybody comes and takes my babies. I ain't done with them yet. Now I gotta click all these settings all over again. I have to go through 17,000 things to click it. There. Is the baby good? Are we good here? I'll save just because. Do, do, do. I'm down. I want to understand the reference. <laughs> I'm yelling German at us now, okay? <laughs> oh, good. Okay, she's about to be done with that. Uh -huh. Practice sitting. Practice sitting. Please get this quicker. Thank you, children. So guys, I'm curious. Um, the next time I stream The Sims will be on Thursday, correct? No! Put him down. Put all of them babies down. Put it down. Put him down. Don't you put him in that crib. No! Ow! I'm upset. I am upset. You should be sleeping. You're tired. Go to sleep. Cheddar, I don't care that you're tired. I have things I want you to do. Coriander, how are you? I don't care that you're tired either. I have things I want you to do. The rest of my teens. Are you not working up your skills? Go work out one more time. How are you doing? Okay, you've got that piano skill. Good. Oh no, it's level three! Keep practicing the piano. You! I don't see that dance skill up. It appears you're not even having that skill at level two yet. Disappointed, Spider. Disappointed. Have you held Eleanor yet? I thought her crickets yet. Oh my god, I have a freaking story with Eleanor. So the top mesh part of my one cage is broken in the corner. So at the very top of her cage, which leopard geckos can climb up glass, so it wasn't the biggest issue in the world, um, but the top mesh corner of my cage is broken. And uh, the, vine, the vines that I had hanging in her cage that were around the top fell down, and I just hadn't got around to putting them back up. Until the other day, I went to go feed Eleanor, and I was like, oh, here, let me connect these vines back up. So I put the vine all the way back up at the top of the cage again. Uh, well, the crickets could crawl on the vine from the bottom where it hung low. They could get onto the bottom part of the vine where it hung low. 
and they could crawl all the way up to the vine to the broken mesh part, where promptly some have escaped. And I know they've escaped because we have found six crickets in our house randomly. One, like three, four of them made it all the way to their bedroom, which is not that far from my room. It's like catty corner down the hall. But like six crickets we have found, and they're not the, the type that makes noise. They're silent brown crickets because that's the kind you give to your, um, your pets. But yeah, I, we have no idea how many of the, I ordered two dozen crickets and, and, and set them free in Eleanor's cage to feed her. We found six of them. Uh, that's not to say that's all of them either. Could be more. Could be. Um, but yeah, that's nice. So I disconnected. <laughs> so I, I took the, the vine back down the other day, but Max is looking at me like, really? Really? Sa no, Saber also has been having a heyday. My cat Saber has also just been running around and uh, finding all the crickets and stuff. He's usually the ones that uh, <laughs> finds them. And here's the thing though, Saber doesn't eat them. He just bats them around and tortures them until eventually they lose their legs. Like, that's what Saber does. He doesn't... <laughs> He doesn't get rid of them for us. He just slowly and painfully tortures them. And it's terrible. Like, Saber loves hunting bugs. But he knows if he if he X's it off right away, the fun is over. So he doesn't X them off right away. He just, you know, plays with them for a long time. Until we find him. And that's it. <laughs> Be happy Ryder can't crawl yet. He'd be eating one for sure. Oh my god, don't even say that yet, Athena. Absolutely Dang, yep. not. <gasps> Is mom trying to pick him up? No. Go to sleep. You are not messing with these kids. We're over here working on stuff. <gasps> are you about to sit? <laughs> oh, Carol Linder! Freaking love you, Carol. You, learning things, Carol Linder. Practice standing? No, we need to do more tummy time because we need to learn how to crawl. Coriander, you are just going to keep going until you pass out. That's how this is happening. Also, for those of you who are wondering why uh, my skills, or sorry, my sims don't need to eat or pee or go to, the, or go to bed as much, um, that is because I'm playing with double the amount of sims in a household. I have moved my household max from 8 to 16. So the needs of my Sims have gone from 100%, like they increase at like 100% the normal level, uh, to now they decrease 50% slower. So in a way, my Sims needs don't need attended to all the time, but I have double the amount of Sims to play with. So for me, that's fair in my mind. So that's how they look. Are you gonna just stare at him or are you gonna teach him things? <gasps> she learned to creep. Calder is gonna freaking learn how to crawl in no time. This girl is winning. What are you doing? What are you doing right now? Totter. Totter. Have you, uh, no, you haven't finished all your movement skills, so I don't know why you're out here. I don't know what you're doing, Totter. Get your butt back over here. Learn those skills. Teeter, what are you doing? That's a good girl, Teeter. Oh, you're hungry. Da 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 Spider, are you dancing? No, of course not, Spider, because why would you ever do what I tell you to do? Spider, um, why don't you make yourself useful and come make a meal uh for the toddlers? Oh, why are those all the same picture? Oops. Um I don't want you to screw this up, so make a garden salad. Go, Spider. Your new skill will be learning how to cook. <laughs> Lena Bird! Or Lene Bird. Is it Lena Bird or Lene Bird? Thank you. <laughs> it's been so long. I'm sorry if I forget how to pronounce names. Um, thank you so much for that four months or sub, sweetheart. Thank you. Oh my gosh. Alright, make yourself useful. Because some of these toddlers are going to be hungry here in a second. <gasps> okay, you've got all your skills. <gasps> you've got all your skills. 
Oh, girl. Harvester, you better hurry up. I want to age you up. Oh, God. <laughs> Look at Slender. Slender, honey. I'm sorry. Your sister's not ready to age up yet. You're good. You can stop playing. That's fine. Athena Farah. Or Freya. Sorry. Athena Freya. Thank you so much for that five months of recess, sweetheart. Thank you. I had a goal. I had a goal set. Has my goal been hit? That's a question, isn't it? Um, oh god, this kid is so nasty. What, you, I'm not gonna mess with him because as soon as he ages up to a child, or to a child, he can take care of his own needs. Um, I'm late, but I'm so glad you're back. I've missed you. i missed you too, honey! It's Linnea. Got it! Thank you, honey. Alright, Teeter Totter, you guys are going to be the ones that need, uh, to be fed. So, I actually want you to go over here, because I can't, I forgot, the kids could get taken away. So that is a little bit of an issue for us. Uh -huh. So instead of doing, uh, doing that, I need you to come here and grab yourself a serving. Grab a serving. Thank you, Spider. <gasps> oh my god! I forgot! I should be doing a TikTok live right now! Oh, I forgot all about TikTok! <laughs> Whoops. I'm gonna save that for tomorrow. <laughs> I'm so sorry! <laughs> Oops. Okay, um, okay, Colander, Colander, Cheddar used to- <gasps> Breeder, no! Breeder, no! Whatever you're gonna do with him, don't. Whatever you were going to do, don't. What are you doing? You know what? Why don't you do what I need you to do with him? Because obviously, Colander needs a little extra help. Colander. Practice sitting up. Somebody's gonna do something with him, but it's not put him to bed. He is fine. See, he's happy. He doesn't need put to bed. I, is there a mod, does anybody know if there's a mod out there that, like, makes it so sims don't always check on infants? Has there been a mod like that? I've been out of touch for so long, I don't know what's- <gasps> You're not working on my baby? Oh, she's alone. Cider, what you doing? Oh, you're about to get to piano level two. You're a B student. School starts in two days, so. You're fine. Oh, but you're tired. Uh... <laughs> Difficult. And you need to do your homework still. You need to do your homework and finish eating. Spider, you need to do your homework. All of you need to do homework. Are you done? <gasps> Are you done? Yes! It's time to go! Let's age him up. Age him up, age him up, age him up, age him up. Let's freaking go. We're aging him up. Set age, child status. You, get out of bed. Let's see, command center. Uh, oh, hey, hater, age up. One, two, three. Hater is erratic. Great, he's crazy. Sure, why not? Ah, uh, some commands. Set age. Child. Some commands. Set age. Child. Yes! Okay, we've got these guys out of toddlerhood. Thank God. Make breeder paint? Oh, that's right, she should paint. Nah, that's fine. I care more about getting these kids aged up. Okay, one, two, three. Hot-headed, so we have one crazy one. This is Patchy's, to, uh, Patchy's triplets, by the way. We got one crazy one, one hot-headed one. And what's the other one? All right, we got a lot of people sending people gifts. Hey, I don't think I remember telling you to do this either. 
think I remember telling you to do stuff with him. Oh, cranky Snoopy. All right, buddy, I need you. You can go to sleep real quick, okay? Go to sleep. You serve me no purpose right now if you're that exhausted. Are you excited for the new Disney Dream Life Valley update tomorrow? Oh, I'm so freaking excited. It is such a big, oh God. It's such a big update for Disney Dream Life Valley tomorrow. I cannot wait to play it. I've been playing Disney Dream Life Valley the whole time I've been on maternity leave because that's a game that's easy for me to like stop whenever I need to, to if I need to go like, if Ryder wakes up and wants my attention and something like that, I can pick him up real quick. Cause I've been having his bassinet literally chilling right next to me. And I've just been playing games casually when he doesn't need me. Um, so I've been playing Disney Dream Life Valley this whole time I've been away. And Harvester is a glutton. These kids have terrible traits. <laughs> But you know that's what makes them fun so um so i've been slowly uh i've been playing dizzy dream my valley on the side just like getting my points up every day and doing little things here and there all right <gasps> nemo aka Alyssa, or in other words as i like to say nemo alaska <laughs> hi honey how are you oh my goodness Jazzy Simmer, hi, honey. Oh, sorry. Oh my gosh, Disney Dream Life Valley. Eek! I cannot wait. You're the reason I got a Switch to start playing. Ooh, Tyler, I hope you've been loving it since then. Hello, I did the same with Rosie. I played so much Dragon Age. Why, Athena, did I think that you were saying I played so much Drag Con for some reason? Wait, which kid do I have? Oh, Patch's kids are so cute. I have no idea which one this is. So I'm going to give him this hair because it feels like it fits him. Oh, he's so cute. I don't know which one this is. I clicked on him without realizing. Oh, my goodness. All right, how's the teeth? Are the teeth good? Oh, they're cute. Oh, my goodness. All right. So what I typically do for the kids, like I said, is I just like change uh, their everyday, their sleepwear, and their hot and cold weather outfit with you guys. That way they don't look absolutely crazy. Uh, instead of khakis, let's do some nice jorts, you know? Some nice jorts. We love DragCon here. Oh my god, that's right! Speaking of DragCon, happy Pride, everybody! Please, no hate in the comments. Everybody's allowed to be who they are here. Um, so, no hate, but happy Pride, everybody. I wanted to make sure I said that today, so I'm glad that uh, I thought about Dracon, because that helped me remember. <laughs> do, 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 do. Uh, yeah, that'll do. I love the gap in his teeth. It really fits him, doesn't it? You better keep the gap between his teeth, man. I will, I will. It's his own personality. <gasps> wow. Look at this kid. Honestly, it's a vibe. This look is a vibe. I may change the color of the necklace so it matches the outfit a little more because there is no like pinks in his outfit. But like, honestly, let's do blue because it'll match the color of that. Then I feel like it fits. A, or maybe a red. Yeah, I feel like the red kind of blends it and it makes it a little less standouty. But you know what? For a hot weather outfit, this hot weather. So I'm gonna take it. I got my tickets for DragCon. Ooh. <laughs> All right. Honestly, this outfit's not that bad. I'm just gonna change up a few things. Oh, let's do this one for Pride. For Pride, we'll do that one. And then it's got a lot of oranges in it and yellow, so let's do yellow shoes. All right, well, there's this one. I don't know if this is Slender or if this one was Hater, so we'll check that out, if this is Slender or Hater. It's definitely not my girl, but. 
Welcome back, Mandy. You've missed. Hi, Panda Queen. <laughs> I've missed doing this too. I've missed you guys. I'm serious. It. I was really nervous going into this tonight because I'm like, what if everybody forgot? Like, what if everybody found somebody else and they don't want to be a part of our streams anymore? Which, that wouldn't stop me necessarily from streaming. I would have just kept going back and finding more friends all over again. But I was really nervous before I streamed. I'm like, what if everybody forgot <laughs> and there's only a few people here anymore and I won't have all my lovely people here again? But. Uh, Y'all shocked me, and you showed up <laughs> to play today, so thank you guys so much. It really, like, means a lot to me. I was, like, reading all the comments um, before the stream officially started, like, you know, when I do the little countdown before stream, and I almost wanted to start crying because I was like, oh, everybody's here, and I was, like, recognizing all of your guys' names that have been here for a while, so I was really excited. Athena, my brother's bar building itself, is getting a historical plaque for being the first a historical landmark because the location was the place of the first lesbian bar in Ohio. <gasps> That's so cool, Athena! I love that! We've been patiently waiting for your return. Thank you, Jazzy! I've missed you so much. Even my boyfriend said that he missed you and couldn't wait for you to come back. Oh, Danielle, thank you. Yes, I'm back. No, we love you. <laughs> You'll never get rid of us. <laughs> that sounds more like a threat. We can never forget the queen. <laughs> oh my gosh. Last week and checking in. <laughs> we could never. I came back every four weeks to resub too. You're such a positive light, and I'm so thankful for you sharing your family, your life, and your streams with us. Oh, Gein, thank you. For all of you that also subbed for those weeks that I was gone, I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. Um, Oh, that was Hater, by the way, that we just did. Um, I really appreciate those of you that, uh, and if for you, the guys that didn't, I totally get it. It's totally fine. But Twitch doesn't give maternity leave. So I really appreciate you guys that came back and subbed, even though I wasn't streaming. Um, it was very helpful. Thank you. I would have stayed longer, but, you know, I'm maternity leave, so. Had to get back. <laughs> I tried watching some other stream simmers that I would watch after your stream, and it just wasn't the same. It made me miss you more, and I haven't been on Twitch, and my husband even asks where you went since I hadn't been watching you. Oh, Athena! <laughs> Athena Freya! I have to do two different Athenas, because I have my mod Athena, and there's Athena Freya, so I always have to say you guys differently. Boy, you are not a mermaid. Why do you have scales on? Look, he's got a different kind of freckles to this <laughs> Children don't need to wear makeup. Do I keep his hair? That's the real question. Do we keep the hair? I kind of like it, but do I keep it? He's so freaking cute. Oh my god. You guys let me know. Do I keep the hair? Kitson! Hi, honey! Thank you so much for that six months resub. They subscribed once here for six months in advance! Oh, 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 thank you, Kitsune. Dang. I definitely had to continue subbing. I put it on an auto pay. Oh, Minnie, thank you. I can't be I'm so glad I had mine on automatic renewal. Holy Kitsune! Uh, Kitsune is gifting 10 subs to the community. They get to a total of 830 to the channel. Good goal. And we are at 134 of my sub goal points. Um, the goal is to get to 150, so we're at 134 of my sub goal points. So thank you guys. You know what, if we hit um, 150 for my sub goal, I'll put a mustache on for old time's sakes, okay? So I see my little sub goal alert over here. So if we get to 150 sub goal, I will go ahead and put a mustache on and we will do a mustache party like old times sake. But uh, Cozy J, Mighty Callie, Decca, Sober, Vicious, Ginger, Marley, Coco, uh, and Paige. If you received a gift sub, please tell Kitsune thank you for your gifted sub. As always, Kitsune, literally the best. We love you, Kitsune. Thank you. Okay, um... Yeah, I like the hair. Yes, keep the hair. Okay, we'll keep the hair. We'll keep the hair. 
I like his shirt too. I feel like that's very him, so we'll keep it. I feel like he looks edgy, so we'll give him like some tattered jeans. I can't be so nice, Kitsun. Leanna Bird, thank you so much for gifting a sub to the community. Thank you, honey. Gifting 10 one tier subs to the community for a total of 144 out of 50. Okay, so only six more, and we will hit our goal. We'll do a mustache party for old times' sakes. I can't be Holy guacamole. Uh, Nikki, Infinity, Nancy, Victoria, Charlotte, Emmy, Simmeter, Daisy, <laughs> Marky, and Black Hawk fan. Um, or Black Hawk from, sorry. If you receive a gift sub from Leanne, or Linnea, Linnea, sorry, Linnea, gosh, I gotta remember. Uh, please say it, Epic Gold. Thank you, thank you, thank you in the chat. Because they deserve it. Because gifting subs is a kind way, and we say thank you here. Because we are nice people. Um, I'm not feeling your hot weather outfit as much as I was feeling your brother's outfit, so I'm going to change that for you. I can't be just a reminder, too, if you have Amazon Prime, you can always sub with Amazon Prime. Um, you just have to hook your, hook your Prime account up to Twitch, and you can sub for free every month. So, if you already have Amazon Prime, might as well. I mean, you're already paying. For one, might as well get free benefits. Happy Pride, everyone! Ah, oh, redeemed a stretch. I actually really should do that. Oh, ooh, my elbow cracked too while I was at it. Eh. Oh my gosh! Okay, I need to know in the chat if anybody else has experienced this. So, of course, I got stretch marks on my stomach from being pregnant um, because pregnancy that's what happens but you know where I got stretch marks that I was not expecting that I got literally within the like the last two weeks of my um pregnancy on my arm like right here I don't know if you can see them did anybody else get stretch marks right here on their arm I don't know why around my elbow I got stretch marks but I just found that really weird and I got them on my like the inside of my elbows I have stretch marks right here and I'm like why there why there? <laughs> so if anybody else has gotten stretch marks there, please let me know because I feel like I've never seen somebody else that got stretch marks there. And somebody says hydrate too. Aha. You did, you did. Mm. Okay, so Desi Flower, Live Freely, Mini Mittens, you all got them too. I just thought that was weird. I didn't, I didn't know people got stretch marks on the inner parts of their arms. And I was like, okay. Let's not look at that, but <laughs> but I was like, why? Why there? <laughs> I got them on my arms, legs, belly, etc. Wow. Okay, okay, so more people have got it than I thought. That makes me feel a little better, because I was like, why my arms? <laughs> why my arms? <laughs> I got some near my armpit. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> All right, so it's not just me. That makes me feel a little better. <laughs> Because I was like, they appeared at the last month of my pregnancy, and I was like, I'm like, why? Why there? Why there of all places? That's terrible. Oh, wait, and I got one more kid, one more kid to make over real quick. MC Command Center. Modify Sim. Oh, I need to check on one thing. Just make sure we haven't hit my goal without me knowing. Do 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 do. The armpit. Don't get me started. <laughs> this room goes a little laggy. You know why? Um. Let me see. Let me check my goal. Mm -mm. All right. So only six more. Okay. I just wanted to make sure we didn't miss it without me knowing. I got them bad on my legs. <laughs> uh, Miss Maddie has redeemed a mod pull. One of my mods are on it. Now I've lost it all and then so. Oh, I was good to this up. Thank you so much. Yes, I always say thank you. <gasps> oh, Harvester. Oh, I love her. Her. Oh, they're freckles. <laughs> so cute. 
cute. Oh my gosh. Okay. Hi, Mr. Girly. You're so adorable. Oh my goodness. <laughs> She's so cute. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Harvester is such a little cutie. Well, we are definitely going to have to put her in a cute little dress. Because she just looks like a little dressy girl now. Especially with that bow in her hair. Mm. Same, lol. I got way more varicose veins than normal. Has anyone gone from console to PC and are particularly hard time with controls? I heard they changed the controls. On console. Oh. I mean, the hat's not terrible. It's not great, but it's not terrible. We'll have her look like a little hippie baby. She is beautiful. I think so too. Oh my gosh, I miss you so much, Manny. I missed you too, Jess. I missed you too. I think the little hair bow was so cute. I know, I adore it. Oh, um, so to kind of talk a little bit too about the after effects of my pregnancy and stuff like that, um, I'm fine with talking about it because I feel like it makes it more normal for everybody. So some people don't feel as bad. For my pregnancy, I gained, how much exactly did I gain from my pregnancy? Let me Let me do the math real quick. I won't say the exact numbers I'm at, but I'll let you guys know how much I gained for my pregnancy. <laughs> do, do, do. I gained 48 pounds in my pregnancy. So, here's the funny thing. So I gained 48 pounds be uh, from my pregnancy, but here's the thing. Within the very first week, um, in the first two weeks after having baby boy, I lost 27, almost 30 here soon. I'm about, um, but yeah, I lost 27 pounds within two weeks. All of that was water weight. 27 pounds of just water weight. Oh, plus my baby's weight. So sorry. 20 pounds of water weight and um, seven pounds was just Ryder because Ryder was a seven pound baby. So, yeah, all of that. So, I, 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 I thought it was crazy how much water weight I was carrying around. I was like, I didn't expect that. But I just want to let you guys know, that's pretty normal, so. Oh. <laughs> 72 pounds here, 40 pounds of water weight because of summer. Oh my gosh. I couldn't imagine being pregnant in the summer. That sounds way harder. I luckily gave birth to baby boy at the very beginning of spring, so. Temperatures were pretty all right. Uh, with my son, I lost weight pretty fast. My twin girls, I gained just by looking for at food. <laughs> That's so hard. Um, so yeah, I'm still working on, of course, uh, getting back to my pre-birth weight. I only went up one size of jeans. Um, so I had to buy, I bought one new pair of jeans that were a size up because I wanted to be able to wear jeans again. I missed it because I wore leggings every day of my pregnancy. So I was to, I was so tired of wearing leggings all the time. Um, but I bought myself one pair of jeans up a, up a size. Um, and I tried on my old jeans just for fun one day. I told myself if they are terrible, I can't be upset. I literally just had a baby. But I could button them, but I can't zip them. Like, they're too tight, and I like I would definitely wouldn't wear them even if I could zip them up uh, right now because they hurt. Come to the gym with me. I don't want to go, sister. My sister is really athletic and, like, goes to the gym like a good person. And I'm over here drinking a McMuffin frappe. <laughs> but I missed wearing jeans, so I bought myself a new pair of jeans. But I I have confidence that I'll be able to get down into my old jeans if uh, if I just put a little bit of effort into losing just a little bit more weight. Not that I have to, but I would like to just so I'm healthy um, for baby boy. That way I can get around with him as much as possible. Oh wait, I just can changed all those kids' appearances. I should save. 
Jeans are just uncomfy. I miss them though. I missed wearing jeans. I feel like a person when I wear jeans. I live on jeans. I lo also lost like half of my hair, like no lie. So my hormones after twins were off the wall. It took a while for them to get balanced out. My doctor told me to continue taking um, prenatals after for a long time. I'm currently drinking Starbucks. Nice. <laughs> Wearing jeans is crazy. I love it. <laughs> Bodies are morally neutral. Absolutely. My husband and I started back at the gym after a year and a half of saying we were going to start. <laughs> Sorry, started back this morning. <laughs> uh, Ash Ryan, thank you so much for that prime sub. <gasps> Three more uh, subs to go until I will put a mustache back on for a good old fashioned mustache party. For those of you who have never witnessed a mustache party, it's a good time. And I uh, just remembered that I actually have mustaches again, so we can do that. Dang it, you're working on your homework. You're sleeping. You're working on your homework. Could anybody help this little kid? Oh, she's so tired. Oh wait, she can do her own dummy time? What have I been having her do this whole time? Tell me time. How's mom doing, by the way? When is she going to have a baby? Second trimester in seven hours. All right, we're not that far. Lene! Bird has gifted five subs to the community for a total of 152 out of our 150 sub goals. So, let's go ahead and pick us out a mustache. Do, 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 do. Let me see. I can't be. Oh, I should pick her. Oh, okay. I can't be. But I think some good ones. I can't be. Oh gosh, these are going to be so freaking itchy. Alright, let me go ahead and put a poll up so you guys can go ahead and vote on which one we're going to do. I can't be I can't be Let me see. Oops, blue, not pink. All right. So let me go ahead and put this on. So our options for the mustache party, actually, let me do this. Options for the mustache party. We have black, large. Black, large. Or will it go like this? Ooh, maybe I should curve it up. Mm. Black large. Black thin. Blue. Maybe colorful for pride. Or pink with a little bit of purple in it. Those are your options. I'm gonna give you guys two minutes to go ahead and start voting, but those are your options. We have black, large, black, thin, blue, and pink. So go ahead and place your votes. In the meantime, I'm gonna get back to this. Hey, I thought I was telling you to work on the other kid. Why did you stop? <gasps> Wait a second. What am I doing? I could be selling these. That's right. Just Emily K, thank you so much for that prime sub. Thank you, honey. <laughs> Please send a big thank you to Lene if you received a gift of sub. Yes, thank you, Gene Levine, for reminding everybody of mustache party. I have heard that mine is called Shine, Shine and it's so much fun. Hmm. Beat her before CPS snatches her. <gasps> Wait a second. Oh, is she hungry? <gasps> oh, she is hungry. Mom, why didn't you feed her before you put her away? 
She feeds food! Baby care. No, not feeding preference. Um, feed. Sure. Feed that baby. How's he doing? Oh, he's perfectly fine. Oh, he's on the ground sleeping, though. Well. Ugh. Oh, I gotta hit that po- Well, that pole so I can see. If you do not see the poll, reminder, refresh your stream. It should be in the chat area somewhere. So if you do not see the chat little uh, choice thingy, make sure you click it and vote on it. If you do not see the chat or the poll, refresh, and it should pop up for you. Are you going to take her out and feed her? I can't have him get taken. I'm not, like, I'll, I'll lose if I get one taken away. And if I get one taken away, we're done. I'm not starting over. If I get a single kid taken away, my hunter baby challenge ends. Oh, polls in it. Mustache party, and you guys have chosen the option of pink. So let's go ahead and do that. Let me put those back. All right. Okay. If I remember how to do this, I gotta be careful peeling it back. Sometimes they break, and they peel the sticky part off with it. All right. Oh, this is gonna be so freaking itchy. Why did I do this to myself? Why do I do this to myself? That's the real question. Oh, stick it on over, okay. Yeah! Oh, it matches my background so perfectly! <laughs> oh, that's right, I can't smile when these are on. They ruin my smile! <laughs> Mario! <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, goodness. <laughs> oh, man. Why is she not feeding her? Ah, oh, because she fell asleep. Wake up, baby girl, you need fed. Ch Coriander! Thank you, are you putting him to bed for me? It's actually the only time I'd be grateful for- Oh, gosh! Oh, sorry. I need to move back. Um, I- <laughs> I thought I did that, I didn't- Oops, I hit the wrong screen. Carol is very hungry- I'm trying to work on that! I'm trying to feed her, okay? I'm trying. Cradle infant, check infant. You don't need to do any of that. You just need to feed the baby. No! Mario says happy pride. Woohoo! Hello there, Bri. I thought some more about what you said and concluded that Dolly and I probably wouldn't get along. Okay, I don't remember offering you advice, but all right. Um, also, I'll be leaving this mustache on for at least the next half hour. Maybe an hour if it sticks on really well and it doesn't itch. But for the next half hour at least, I'm gonna try and leave it on. Why are you not feeding this baby? Coriander, are you gonna feed her? As long as somebody feeds the baby. Speaking of my other toddlers, how are we doing over here? Well, I need to make sure that she's fed first. Somebody feeding her? God bless America. Somebody fed her. All right. Teeter totter. What are you guys doing? How are your skills? You guys look like you're doing a whole lot of nothing over here. <gasps> your thinking's up to level five. Wow, look at you go. Let's go ahead and have you work on your play then. Or your movement, sorry. Get these kids aged up and out of here. Totter, how you doing? You are sleeping. And you really need to sleep, so... I guess. How about I'm gonna have it say that you can nap and then I would like you to play inside. Because somebody said that works on things. Oh my gosh, these guys. I need you guys to do your homework too. Ah, I keep forgetting things. Do your homework. All of you need to do your homework. Oh, and I can sell all these things. Oh gosh. 
Oh, Gorge, uh, is that stuck on you? That's stuck on somebody, and I don't want to mess with anybody because some people are working on their homework. Teeters, 130 bucks every time. Oh my gosh. Mario, well, oh well, it's Mandy's time to shine. I forget who the daddy of this pregnancy is. It's Vladdy Daddy this time around, sweetheart. All right, anything else I can be selling? Sometimes kids put blades up here. I don't see any. Are there any atop the fireplace? No. Dang it, have you guys all been actually good at putting your crap away? Uh, three left. Okay, we need to put that back in the fridge. <gasps> Negan! Kaylee Negan! There she is, Miss America. Hi, Megan. Thank you so much for the 16 months resub, sweetheart. Hi, Megan. If you guys don't know, Negan and Redheaded Simmer have been, um, Redheaded Simmer. I'm sorry for butchering. Nigga and Redhead have been going ahead and streaming while I've been gone. They've been holding down the floor, and I hope you guys have been all out there supporting them, too, because they're lovelies, and we adore them. But thank you so much, Nigga, and I'm glad you were able to stop by, sweetheart. I don't know how much you're working today. Did the baby get fed to avoid the CPS? Yes, she was fed. She is now sleeping. Oh, okay. She is now working on sleeping, I think. Try go night night. Yeah, she's working on sleeping right now. Um, soothe to sleep. Help her out here. Coriander. You're doing amazing. Coriander's doing great over here. Eshi Pearl! Eshi! Happy 10 months! Thank you, honey! I've missed your stream so much. I hope baby boy and you are doing great. And Max, too, of course. Max is doing great. He's in charge of Mr. Ryder right now. So he's over there taking care of him for me. He's probably sleeping already. And I haven't heard him be him screaming, so I'm sure he's fine. Um, <laughs> but Max, I'm sure he's really trying to make sure that Ryder's sleeping right now because Max has been trying to play some Diablo. Um, <laughs> so... I'm sure that's what he's doing right now if Ryder's not sleeping. Family joke. Why are we always do this? Why do we care? Teeter totter, bread and water, wash your face with dirty water. I'm gonna be seeing that so many times now that I have Teeter and Totter here. And I hope you guys have been thinking about the next Dur child name. Gotta get ourselves back on a decent schedule. Spit out for holding down the fort, Athena. I think you meant shout. Yes, you did. <laughs> oh my gosh. How's Max liking fatherhood? Max has been amazing. He has been incredibly, incredibly helpful. He's not like, you know, your daddies that don't participate. Max has always been switching off schedules with me, so Max will take some time, and then I'll take some time. Max will take some feedings and diaper changes, and I'll take some diaper feedings and changes. Um, it's not always a perfect 100% back and bath, back and forth. Um, sometimes somebody does, sometimes it's 50-50, sometimes it's 70-30. Uh, it just depends on the date. Uh, sometimes if one of us has something we want to do that day, the other person will pick up the slack and they'll be like, yeah, sure, you play your game that came out and I'll take care of him today as long as you pick up maybe a couple more feedings at night. So that's just been our system. Max and I have been working great together. Um, we haven't had any, like, you know, stressful fights and stuff like that. We've been doing good. We've been getting sleep. We're doing great. Parenthood's been awesome. Oh, we had no doubts. <laughs> my husband's playing the new Diablo right now. Right? Oh my gosh. Oh, my son is getting ready for bed now. Oh. <laughs> Autocorrect doesn't like anyone. No, it doesn't, Alice. No, it doesn't. Max is the goat. <laughs> uh, we're not worried about prom. Sorry. Sorry, my teen triplets over here. The uh, Elfaba babies. Why are you sleeping on a bench? We have beds. Did you do your homework, by the way? You didn't! Oh, I'm sorry, Amanda. Cider didn't. Amanda, did you do your homework? You could do extra credit work. Mm, yeah, do it. Spider, what about you? You can do extra credit work, too. Mm. Spider, you should also be working on a skill. Uh, cooking. How about you just go cook a whole bunch of crap for us? 
Can you cook? Um, cause we need more food lined up for everybody. That way people can always just go and grab. Let me sell that. Another 130 bucks. How have the animals been handling Ryder? Have the doggos been loving him? Oh my gosh. Ugh. Mustache hair. <laughs> hey neighbor, do I hear sizzling? Is something broken in there? Oh my god, I have so many broken things you have to come in. Uh, the dog, sorry. <laughs> I get so off track. The dogs have been handling- Oh, uh, mustache hair. <laughs> the dogs have been handling him great. Um, Coda, my husky, who's 17 years old. He just wants to be all up in Ryder's business. He very, very much loves him. He, um, we've been keeping the dogs kind of at a distance from him because we don't want them to think that they can just go up to him whenever they want. They have to have kind of our permission to go near him. Are you drinking? Are you drinking? You're a teen. We do not condone underage drinking here. Be responsible, kids. Um, <laughs> I was too young. I knew I recognized that song. Too young. It is that song. I didn't know they had that song in The Sims 4. That's like the first time I've noticed a song that was like mainstream today. Beyond The Sims. Mm. <laughs> oh my god. But Coda's been doing great. He just wants to be near Ryder. Every time Ryder cries, Coda ha uh, would come and check on him. And he's, he's such a big baby. Raya, she really wanted to just sniff him. But we've been having them keep their distance. So she has just kind of feigned indifference to him. Um, but they will both sneak sniffs whenever they get the chance. Like, if we're holding him at, like, and sitting down, they'll, like, try and go and sniff him real quick as they walk by. But they, uh, they do good with him. They haven't tried to get up all in his business because they know they're not allowed to. So it's been going pretty well. Spider. Okay, Spider's gonna go work on stuff. Too hard. Too uncomfortable. Alright, honey, if you're too uncomfortable, go to bed. I didn't realize I'd be having to take care of the teens so much, but apparently they just need all the help. If you're sleepy, kids, go to bed. I shouldn't have to tell you. I would love to age the infants up, but it seems to be being a struggle. Um, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. Just six of them. Oh my god. What about your sister? She seemed to be, like, on better track than you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <gasps> Ooh, she is farther along. Oh, my God. She needs a diaper change, too. Ugh. She's toasting. Don't forget about Saber and Raya. Um, Saber has kept his distance. He's more curious about him than anything. Um, he's like, what is that thing that's moving? But he doesn't do too much. He just kind of like sniffs him casually from a distance. Uh, he w And he uh, no longer tries to jump into any of the baby things. Because Saber used to try and jump into the pack and play in the bassinet before Ryder was here. But now that Ryder's here, Saber understands that those are the baby's things. And he stays away. Uh, he stays away. Yes, if you give them a bubble bath, they will get two milestones. I usually say that for after they learn how to crawl. So I will be doing two, the bubble bath thing to give them the last couple um, things they need. How's Mama doing? Is she in third trimester yet? <laughs> she still has the new baby uh, mood lit. She'll be entering her third trimester in 12 sim hours. Oh my god. Oh, this mustache is shedding. Where do you get the infant's beds from? Uh, the infant's beds. The infant's beds. I know they're on my Pinterest in my build and buy section. I don't think they're peacemaker. Uh, the infant's beds, they're not. I don't think they're peacemaker. Um, 
Oh, sorry, those are the newborn beds. The infant beds, they're on my Pinterest. I know they're on my Pinterest. But these ones, the toddler beds are Peacemaker. I literally stopped playing since you left. Oh, Golden! <laughs> okay, this mustache is really starting to itch. But I'm going to try and hold out another 15 minutes at least. Are these kids done sleeping yet? <gasps> oh my gosh, you are. Okay, Cheddar, you're in charge of Coriander. I need you to come wake him up. Or Coriander, I need you to wake yourself up. Get down here. What about you? Oh, you need a little bit. I'll have Cheddar focus on him first. All right, I need you to come and change his diaper. And then just for the heck of it, let's go ahead and feed him. And then I want you to do other stuff with it. No. I feel like I just swallowed mustache hair. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to need to know why you kick me out of Twitch. Ragdust? <gasps> Ragdust! <laughs> uh, uh. <laughs> oh! Ah. I heard the spit up sound effect and I in my head I'm so used to hearing Ryder spit up that I was genuinely concerned that there was gonna be a spit up mess when I looked over but then I realized it's not real life why am I like this <laughs> oh mod gone rogue <gasps> no I didn't finish inherited mansion I need to finish inherited mansion I know I need to do that. <laughs> okay. So he's been fed, right? Has his diaper been changed? Yes, no. Um, Mandy, hydrate, stretch. Okay, thank you, Alice. Ha, ha stretch. Start with... Oh, my back's cracking. Also, where I got my epidural... Oh, my back hurts there. It's got, like, a stinging pain. Right where I have my epidural. Um, so that was fun. Oh, I also never talked about my birth story, kind of. Um, okay. Are you guys interested in hearing about my birth story? I don't know if that's TMI for some people. I won't get into too many gory tears. I would just tell you guys how long it was in my general process. I wouldn't get into too, too much, though. <gasps> Sell that bottle. I've been hooked on watching people's Ultimate Decades Challenges. It's wild. Oh my gosh, okay. Part of me wants to do the Ultimate Decades Challenge, but it just seems like so much work. No, 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 no. Not give bath. Not give bath. Don't give bath. That's too much right now. I just want her to be fed and her diaper to be changed. Did you do that for baby boy? Yes, you did. All right, I need you. Friendly activities. Practice sitting with him. We're back to working on the infants. I need to get these babies aged up. Yes, story time with Mandy. Tell us everything. Yes, 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 yes. Did you get cold shivers down your back? No. So, all right. The story of how Ryder came into this world. So, uh, the reason I had to stop my streams with you guys, I don't remember if I was completely honest with you guys on why I stopped streaming. I can't remember if I was honest and told you guys. Um, but I ended up having to stop streaming a little early because I ended up be getting diagnosed with preeclampsia. So they had me go in. I was 38 weeks and five days pregnant, I think. Something like that. I was in my 38 week of pregnancy. Um, and I went in for my 38 week appointment and they're like, oh, your blood pressure is a little high. How about you go get some blood work done? So I went ahead and I got, <laughs> I'm a nurse, there's no such thing as oversharing. <laughs> so I went ahead and got my blood work done. Um, they told me Wednesday, I had to wait because there was a storm coming. So I went on Thursday and I got my blood work drawn. Well, that weekend just happened to be Easter weekend. Um, and they told me I was going to get my results on Friday. I didn't. 
they didn't call me back on Friday. So then I had to go the whole weekend where I was waiting to get the diagnosis if I had preeclampsia. Preeclampsia is pretty serious. It can cause um, seizures, stroke, um, and just a lot of issues for me personally. And it could stress out baby boy. So preeclampsia is not fun. You don't want to have it. And the only cure to preeclampsia is giving birth. So on Monday, they end up calling me back with my blood work results and a hydrate, sorry. On Monday, they end up calling me back with my blood work results. And they're like, hey, your blood work came back. You're pre-ecleptic. Um, you're going to have to schedule a visit with your, uh, your OBGYN. And when you come to the hospital, uh, you might as well just bring your, uh, your bag with you. And I was like, oh, okay. Um, does my husband need to come? They're like, it's probably a good idea if he's available. Otherwise, if he's at work, I mean, he has probably time to finish up the day and meet you at the hospital. But Max works from home. So Max um, just shot his work an email real quick. And he's like, hey, wife potentially is going to go into labor. We're going to have this baby today. See y'all later. And so his work's like, cool, have fun. <laughs> and we went to the hospital. Um, I got to the hospital. My doctor talked to me and she was like, yep, so... Uh, you're pre-ecliptic, so uh, we're just going to have you have that baby today. And I was like, ha ah, cool, got it. So this was April 10th that this all went down. And so it was like 10 o'clock, 10.45 that I went in for that appointment. My doctor said, all right, why don't you go ahead, you guys go get yourselves a nice big lunch. And uh, after you guys have lunch, come back here and head straight over to labor and delivery. And I was like, ah, okay. So <laughs> that's what we did. We went and we had some McDonald's and we came back to the hospital, went straight to labor and delivery, and they started my induction. I was one centimeter dilated, just one measly centimeter. You had to be at 10 to pop the baby out. So what they did, my doctor said she was going to start me on the folly balloon. <sighs> What the folly balloon is, for those of you who don't know, it's this long tube they put up in your cervix and it slowly balloons up and basically dilates you to about three or four centimeters. Is that what she said? She's like, we're gonna put the folly balloon in. Once you get to about three or four centimeters, um, we'll take it out and we'll have the doctor come and um, pop your I'm sorry, she said she was going to come in and break my water. I was going to say, pop my cherry. Mm. Um, she's going to come in and break my water. So, I put the folly balloon in. That was the worst pain I've been in my entire labor. The worst pain. It was awful. I hated the folly balloon. If I was only at three centimeters before I came, I would have been fine, and I wouldn't have had to use it. It was terrible. I, I was like, I'm a nice person. I'm nice to everybody. And I like to keep conversation going and having a good time. There was nurses that came in at one point to draw my blood when I was in the middle of the folly balloon. And I didn't talk to them. I didn't say a word. They were trying to talk to me and I was just like, like just trying to breathe through the pain. I didn't say a thing to them. So Max was answering for me because I was just in so much pain. Um, it sucked and I hated it. And I wasn't on any pain medication at this point, obviously. No epidural or anything like that. Mm -hmm. But apparent, um, after, I think, oh, like two, three hours of the folly balloon being in, all of a sudden I was sitting in a chair and I just feel this gush of water. I thought I peed myself. I, honest to God, I thought I peed myself. At the time, there was like this 70-year-old nurse taking care of me. And she's like, and I told her, I'm like, hey, um... I think I peed myself or I think my water just broke. And she's like, oh, I don't think your water broke. The balloon probably moved and some liquids fell out from behind it or um, or you peed yourself a little bit. She's like, but I'll just swab this liquid and, and, and check for you. And so she swabs a little bit of the liquid and she's like, oh yeah, that was, uh, that was fluid. Yeah, your water broke. And I was like, okay, cool. And so they come and they take the folly balloon out of me and then they up my Pitocin and I, she checks me and I was like 
five centimeters dilated and I broke my water by myself. The doctor didn't have to come do that. So that was cool. Um, your water breaking is a weird experience. It literally feels like you're peeing yourself. And once it breaks, it doesn't just all gush out, like uh, 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 it gushes out, but you steadily keep losing fluid. So you just keep feeling like you're peeing yourself. And that's great. It's awful. I hated it. And they had puppy pads underneath me wherever I went. If I was sitting in a chair or sitting on a bed, they had puppy pads underneath me. It was great. I felt like a little puppy that needed <laughs> training. Made a savior game. Got it. Um. <laughs> okay. But uh, Baby Boy's good. For those of you that are just jumping in. So that happens. And maybe five, six hours have passed at this point. So I got up to seven centimeters dilated pretty quickly. Um, but at that point, it was getting later into the night and there were already three or four women in the hospital giving birth. So they were busy that night. So they just, they gave me the, the epidural. They are like, hey, your doctor really encourages that you get the epidural. Cause I kind of was gonna hold out and see how far I could go. Um, I was seven centimeters and I wasn't in too much pain, but I was definitely feeling it. Like I was like, <sighs> but I was breathing through the contractions and I was all right, but it was painful. It did hurt a little bit, but I honestly don't remember how much it hurt anymore at this point. Also, this is itching me like crazy. It's coming off. <laughs> um, so eventually I was at seven centimeters. They convinced me to get the epidural. They put it in and after an hour, they're like, are you still not feeling the epidural? And I'm like, no, I feel no different. I still feel everything. They're like, can you move your legs? And I'm like, yeah, I can move my legs. And they're like, hmm, crap. So apparently they didn't put it in in the right place. So they had to come in and take it back out, which getting an epidural feels so weird. Like it rattles your spine as the needle goes in because they have to go in between these two spinal bones and find this exact time. <laughs> Bye. Ooh, Carol's learning how to crawl. Heck yes, Carol. Carol Dern. Um, and so it did work the first time. So they had to call on a different anesthesiologist and she came in and she took the other one out and she put a new one in. That hurt. The second one hurt so bad. I could feel every inch of it rattling my spine. I even started crying. I hadn't really cried um, up until this point. Like, I was doing pretty okay. Um, I just started crying, and Max was holding on to me, and he's like, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. And I'm like, it hurts, it hurts. But eventually, they got the epidural in, and within 10 minutes, I was good. No more pain. Um, and so they told me to get some rest. So I went, and I laid down, and that hospital bed was so uncomfortable, I hated it. But... Um, I went and I laid down and they had me sleep through the rest of the night. And I woke up like later in the day, kept moving through the motions. Uh, the epidural was awesome. I didn't feel a thing after I got that epidural though. So that was pretty chill. <laughs> and I slowly, like I was still at seven centimeters dilated when I woke up. I was hoping when I woke up, I'd be 10 centimeters and we'd be ready to go. That was not the case. It still took a while. I was still seven centimeters when I woke up. And then I kept moving and grooving for a couple more hours. And then all of a sudden, at like 11 o'clock, she's like, oh, hey, you're 10 centimeters. So we're going to have you start pushing. So one nurse was with me. And she told me to get into position. And we started pushing. I pushed for two hours, mind you. Um, I went into the hospital at like noon. I started pushing at 11 o'clock the next day. So it's been 23 hours at this point when they have me start pushing. And so I start pushing. I push for two hours, two hours. But luckily I don't remember being in much pain. I just remember being absolutely exhausted. Just exhausted from pushing. <laughs> um, but after two hours of pushing, eventually my son was born and I named him Ryder. And people find that hilarious because we've been working on the Durr family, but that was not planned. 
It just so happened to be how things worked. <laughs> So yeah, after a 24 plus hour long labor and two hours of pushing, my son was born. <laughs> so he's here and he's perfectly fine. He weighed seven pounds on the dot. They told me I was gonna have like an eight pound, maybe nine pound baby. They were wrong, I was seven pounds. And he had a very big cone head cause he was in my birth canal for such a long time. And during that whole two hours of pushing, he was there just chilling. So yeah, that was my birth. <laughs> <laughs> I felt the two hours felt like an eternity when you're doing it too. Actually, it didn't. It didn't feel that long. I didn't realize two hours had gone by until um, until Max told me that it was two hours. And I was like, really? It was two hours long? <laughs> he was like, yeah, you push for a long time. Because you just do what they tell you when you're pushing you're just doing everything that they're telling you to do they told me to keep pushing i was like okay <laughs> and i just kept doing what they were told me i was a good little girl and max held a fan in front of my face the entire time like those little stroller fans because i was so hot <laughs> so he just held a fan up to my face for me um and stood by my side the whole time they tricked him into looking at you know baby boy coming out the nurse is like telling me she's like push push you're doing great keep pushing keep pushing you're doing awesome hey dad you want to take a look and max was so dumbfounded in the moment he was like uh sure and then he looks over and he's like why did i do that <laughs> the look on my husband's face when i told him the baby boy's name <laughs> They say the true miracle of birth is amnesia. Dude, I don't remember a thing. I don't remember a thing. I don't remember any of the pain. Honestly, like my whole labor experience, I really don't remember being in that much pain. I remember being in pain in the folly balloon, and I remember being in pain when they were giving me the epidural. That's about it. Otherwise, I just remember being uncomfortable, but I was fine. Like, it wasn't that bad. Um, I don't plan on getting pregnant again for another two three years i'd like Ryder to be two or three before me and max try again uh for more siblings but oh uh, yeah i'd say just uh, we're gonna give it a little bit of time between the next kid i just want to give Ryder some time to be special and alone um and for us to get a good schedule down with him get him out of diapers by the time we have a new kid get him in preschool that way when he goes to preschool i can spend some one-on-one -on -one time with the new baby when they're around and all that other stuff so it'll probably be a while before i'm pregnant again but who knows things happen accidents happen so if i become pregnant before Ryder is two or three years old just know it was an accident <laughs> but a welcomed accident a welcomed accident but an accident Aw, oh, brownie points for Max. They tricked him. <laughs> when you announce baby writer name, watch. Um, we watched Tangled in celebration of his birth. Oh, Alice, I didn't know that. That's so funny. <laughs> when I <I've> been <laughs> you're very busy and they yanked me out and broke my collarbone. Oh gosh! Yes, I'm back. <laughs> that sucks. My first baby was exactly seven pounds too. Oh, Squires fans, seven pound club. The look on my husband's face. <laughs> Dude, I don't even remember anything. I got my wisdom teeth out. Like, why do they give us <laughs> when we're done with that shit? Are you planning on streaming Disney Dreamlight in the morning? Yes, I do plan on streaming Disney Dreamlight. Probably 10 my time or whenever the update hits my game. If I'm not streaming right away when the update comes out, it's probably because I'm not ready or the update hasn't really hit my computer yet. So I will be streaming in the morning. Uh, when the update comes out, whenever my game updates, because they say the update will be out at a certain time, that doesn't always happen. So I will be streaming in the morning, though, so I hope you guys are ready. I can't wait. I don't know how long I'll be streaming for. I definitely want to stream for a minute, um, because that update has a bunch of new stuff, so I'm really excited. I used to think you pushed once and baby was out. <laughs> no! The pushing process is long and arduous. It's terrible. Um, like, I mean, it's not terrible. It's just a lot of work. <laughs> so like, you're supposed to push when you have a contraction because you know, your body's like tensing up and helping you push baby out. So you have to push every time you have a contraction. 
That could be spread close together for someone, could be spread out. Mine were a little bit farther apart, so I had a little bit of downtime in between my contractions, at least, to ha help catch my breath. But the process is, they want you to try and push for 10 seconds, two to three times, and hold your breath and stuff while you're doing it. So they'll go, okay, here's a contraction, ready, start pushing, and push! And you have to go, <gasps> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, stop, take a breath, <gasps> go again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Stop pushing, take a breath. And if you can, if you're still having your contraction, you have to go again. And they have to go <gasps> push really hard and go one, two, three. And they have you do this for 10 seconds every time. It's so exhausting. I pushed for two hours every time I had a contraction, which is like every like a minute or two apart, I was pushing so freaking hard and it was ah oh, such a process I, I apparently i wasn't pushing hard enough though because baby boy was not coming out as fast as i was hoping he would because it took forever but he came out eventually and that's all that mattered <laughs> and i only had a one degree tear which is like the least amount you can tear um and i don't really remember feeling any pain for that so eh, it is what it is I would be so dizzy. Dude, my face was a cherry tomato. I have a broken blood vessels on my cheeks from pushing so hard. Like, because, you know, you're holding your breath and you're pushing. So, you're like, your entire face blows up like a freaking balloon. And I have broken blood vessels on my cheeks. My cheeks get so dry and poppy now from that because all my, like, my blood vessels on my face broke. So, I have a bunch of, like, blister spots all over my cheeks. They're covered up by foundation, but if you look really closely, if I don't have any makeup on, all you see is these bright red blotches on my face. And it's been two weeks and they're still there. And I hate it. I'm glad you're back and well. I am I'm doing great. <laughs> Some women do push once and they're out. Some women are better than me. I pushed for two hours and it took a long time, but he's here. Some women do shoot and their babies out so it really depends on the person you could have a super easy experience or you could have a really hard experience so yeah <laughs> the time my mom had preeclampsia with me on her birthday so i was a really bad present oh no <laughs> i'm so glad everything went well and you and Ryder are okay we're good oh but every time we were doing the uh the vote for baby boys or for the baby's names in the game Every time somebody suggested Ryder, because I knew what I was going to name my son at that point. I knew what I was going to name my son by, I think, like four or five weeks or four, four or five months pregnant. Um, we've been throwing around the name Ryder since early into my pregnancy. I think I had the name at least by halfway through my pregnancy. I had my name figured out. Like we were like pretty, pretty certain that was going to be his name. So anytime you guys would throw a rider, I'm like, I can't. I can't pick rider. I can't. <laughs> so all of you guys that were suggesting rider as the baby name for one of the babies here, I'm sorry. That's why I didn't pick it. I completely ignored it every single time. <laughs> I'm already dealing with dizziness. I think I'm going to be full of passing out. No, don't put it back in the back. No, 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 no. He's not done. He didn't learn how to crawl yet. Right? He didn't learn how to crawl. One, two, three, four, five, six. He, okay. Seven, eight, nine, ten. <gasps> Wait, but he has to learn how to crawl first, right? That's one of our things. Question. Don't make fun of me for how this is worded. Should he just be able to have 10 milestones and we be able to age him up, or does he have to learn how to crawl? Because he has 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, wait, ten. Yeah, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight, nine, ten. Should I just have it so that any milestone, as long as they have ten, we're good? Or should I make it that they have to learn how to crawl as a minimum one? Because I think I used to have that rule, but I don't care anymore. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. His sister has twelve milestones. <laughs> so, vote. Do they just need to have ten milestones, or does crawling have to have to have to happen for them to age up? No matter if they have 10 or not. Let's go ahead and save. We need Sim Mandy to have a baby rider now. Oh gosh. Pull is up. Refresh your screen if you can't see. Yes, thank you. Gosh. I'm dying at is he good? <laughs> Say I'm 23 and I love learning this stuff, even though it absolutely terrifies me. I I before I got pregnant, I was always interested in birth culture, so. I thought I liked talking about that information, so sorry if it was TMI for some people. <gasps> some people said just 10 miles, I was raging up, I don't give a sh Not recalculating, we're aging up, just 10. Chat has ruled, I listen to chat. Set age, toddler! I can't be Get these infants out of here. People want to see them. I see these grown babies. Some age, set age, toddler. Grow, my babies! Grow, Father Winter's children! Daisy, thank you so much for gifting a sub to Alice! Alice, enjoy your gifted sub and make sure you tell Daisy thank you! Just 10 wins, 43 to 1. That one person, that one person that selected it, you hate me. Do, 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 do. When he grows up, you can explain to him the story of his name. <laughs> One, two, three. Carol aged up and she's angelic. <gasps> oh, she's so cute. All right, her brother needs to age up too. Age up, child. I'm so done with there being toddlers or, or infants. They're the hardest people. Why did I decide to do this over again? Why do I hate myself like this? I didn't have to do this. I, I volunteered to do this. No one made me do this Hunter Baby Challenge. I did it. Ugh. I think the official rules were updated, but I don't remember if they're easier or more difficult than 10 milestones. I haven't looked at the official 100 Baby rules. I just gotta do things by my rules because it's my game. I don't care. And I don't pay LA officially. My goal is literally just, oh, and he's fussy. Cool. Angelic and fussy. Great. My goal literally is just to make it to 100 kids. That's it. <laughs> Sell all your birthday gifts. Oh my god, you're right. I need to do that. I do need to do that. I'm still laughing at Max accidentally being tricked into looking. That had to be a good laugh amongst the pain. Honestly, I was out of it. Like, I used to say that I wanted four kids. When I was in the middle of pushing... Like, maybe an hour to, hour into pushing. I remember looking at Max and going, one is fine. We don't need to do this again. One is fine. <laughs> I'm like, this is too much. One baby is fine. And Max was just laughing at me the whole time. He's like, you'll want more. Here you. You're going to want more. You're just tired. <laughs> and it's true. I do want more babies. But not for a little bit. All right. Okay, buddy. What hair do you have? Your father winter's kid, so your hair is always going to be light. But which hair does your light hair- Oh, this one looks good on you. We'll do this one. Sounds like a good goal. <laughs> is Thunder a name yet? Yes, Thunder was a name. Surviving and somewhat thriving. <laughs> Change your mind real quick in that moment. <laughs> oh my gosh. I mean, it, it was fine. It's just so, it's hard work in the middle of it. Like, you're so tired by the end of it all. All right, what's this kid gonna look like? He's Father Winter's kid, so I feel like I have to keep him decked out in red. But like, a good red? <laughs> oh, just a simple red t-shirt's fine. Oh, and he's chubby like Father Winter, too. 
Let's do regular blue jean look. He's so chubby! <laughs> Let's do his sleepwear. Okay. Maybe a little onesie, or should I do a whole outfit? <gasps> Let's do these little foxes! His hot weather outfit. Oh, he got a little baseball cap. But I need that off. Oh, that's all red overalls! Let's do that. Hi, Mama! And I won't go too creative on that. I'll be lazy, because we probably won't see those outfits anyways. Please put him in the Christmas tree or elf outfit. Absolutely not. I hate those. <laughs> How is baby sleeping right now? He's doing great. He has to wake up. Usually, um, he wakes up every three hours for a bottle. But lately in the night, um, at least for his first feeding, he'll sleep about three or four hours, sometimes five, um, before his next bottle. So if I feed him at 11 o'clock, sometimes he doesn't wake up till like three um, for another bottle. So either me or Max will get one bottle, depending on who got the last one. So we go every other bottle at night. Um, and if he's fed around three or four, he'll usually want a bottle around six or seven. So then we get up again, and uh, whoever gets that bottle is just up with him until the other person is done sleeping. So sometimes Max will take that morning shift, and he'll get up at 6 or 7 with him, and I'll sleep until 10 o'clock. <laughs> so we get our sleep. We're doing good. He's fine. I love foxes. My son's room with foxes in the woodland. Oh, Max loves foxes. The, um, his favorite animal he says is a koala, but really his favorite animal is a fox, and he just thinks, uh, and he forgets that every time, because he has foxes for everything. But if you ask him his favorite animal, he'll say a koala, and he's wrong. <laughs> it's not. He has a koala on nothing. I think his koala used to be just his go-to answer, but he doesn't realize how much he likes foxes. <laughs> so, my husband says he knows his favorite animal, he doesn't. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, so if her brother was the one who has, like, you know, a good bit of weight put on him, his sister's the opposite. She looks like a little skinny ninny. That's pretty rare for a father winter child. Not gonna lie. Oh. She had cute little pigtails and glasses, so I kind of want to keep that for her. But this hair is really cute. Do I want this? Oh, this one's cute. It's like Boo's hair! I downloaded a lot of custom content and I haven't really looked around at what everything is. I absolutely adore this, so this is what I'm gonna go for. But she has to have her glasses back. She looks so cute in her little glasses. She has to keep them. Are there good glasses for toddlers? Yeah. These ones. Those will do just fine. She had brown glasses, so let's change that back. Make sure she's got glasses and all her outfits. There. You just sound like baby girl when you yell <laughs> and you made my sister yawn. I'm sorry! Yes, and don't let me forget to save when we get back out. <laughs> All right, Father Winter Kids have to wear yellow. Seasonal greetings, all the things. Did I just say yellow or red? Am I going insane? I might be at this point, I don't know, who knows? That's why it looks fine. I need more toddler CC. You have such cute stuff. Emmy, uh, on my Pinterest, I have a whole bunch of CC saved. So if you need to find a 
any good sources and stuff. I do have some saved for you guys, so you guys have a place to go to find stuff because you guys are always asking me what CC creators I use. I use a ton. I Some days when I'm bored, I just go onto Pinterest and I scroll around all their SimCC and I save things onto my board. That way I remember to go back and download things later. That's basically how I do custom content in my game. I just save things onto Pinterest and then I remember to go back and download them later. <laughs> Oh, her little outfits are so cute. Not to toot my own horn or anything, but I think I do a pretty good job. Ah, put some clothes on, girl. No, I don't like how the shirt doesn't make it all the way to the bottom. It upsets me. <gasps> that is cute. Cute, cute stuff. <gasps> Bye, girl, the red hair. I love you. Have a wonderful night. Give me a little red jacket. Some pants. And your shoes are fine. All right, there's our little girl. I like to quick edit some of the kids just cause so you guys wanna see what they look like close up and they're not running around wearing absolutely ugly custom content because that's gross. Okay. I tried to download CC eyelashes and it was a disaster, so I'm so scared of CC. Oh no, Linnea! <laughs> it's okay, honey. Custom content downloading is a little difficult at first, but it gets easier the more you do it. And eyelashes are hard. So if you download custom content eyelashes and you put them on your sim and they look like really heavy eyeliner around your sims and they like break, sometimes it's because the eyelashes need high quality settings to appear on your sims correctly. So. If they, you put eyelashes on your sims and they look just god awful, like in game they look bad, but in cast they look great, um, it's because when you're in game you need to function on high quality settings for some eyelashes. Um, so if that's what scared you, that might be your problem. Save your game, yes! Save your game and sell gifts, yes I need to do that, oh god, okay. Okay, I must have her toggled to sell the gifts first. Sorry, I'm doing a lot of S sounds. I need to stop that. Okay, get the mail and then we'll sell all the stuff and then we'll save. So we got that money. Miko and Kijo Kijoko are my favorite. Ki Ki Kijiko. Kijiko. I was gonna say Kijokyo. And Kijoko. And I don't think that's how I say it. Ki Kijoko. Yeah, because I'm putting an extra O in there when I don't need that. Um, Kij Kijiko. Kijiko, I think, is actually how you pronounce it. Selling all this crap. Even the seeds, because I don't care. Oh my god, there's so much stuff. Almost $3,000 of crap to sell. That's nice. And Chowder, you are no longer in school, so we can so <gasps> Chowder, get out of the pool! I know you're an adult, but I don't need you to die on me because you're trying to sleep in the pool when you're tired. That's a stupid idea, kid. Go <laughs> get some sleep. How are you? Okay, how are my toddlers? I'm not paying attention to my toddlers one freaking bit. Here, Mom, how about you go change his diaper? Change his diaper, because he's stinky. Teeter is sleeping and not doing the great. We need to feed the kids. And by we, I mean me. Um, Commander. I need you to... No, 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 I should have Spider do that. Have the kids gone back to school yet? Have we had the kids go to school yet? I don't think we have. I feel like we're just wasting our time over here. Spider, I want you to cook some more. You need to build up that skill. 
Some onigiri. It's been a long time since I've made myself onigiri. Oh, you're already cooking. Oops. It's been a long time since I've um made onigiri for myself. I love onigiri. I used to make it occasionally when I was pregnant, and I haven't in a while, and I should again. Hmm. Maybe I should make that for my lunch tomorrow. No, I made gumbo to yesterday. I should eat the leftover gumbo in my fridge. Y'all don't care about my eating habits, but you know, why not talk about it? <laughs> okay, why can't I go this way? Thank you. Good night, Golden! I have to go to sleep now. Good night, everyone. I can't wait for the next stream again. Glad you're back, Manny, and welcome, baby boy Ryder. And chat, see you again. Bye, go ahead. <laughs> Did I save? No, I didn't. Dude, mom brain doesn't treat me kindly. Forget everything. That's the end of that. We care always because we want to see pigs. <laughs> Me having the same conversation with myself every day. <laughs> oh god, I need to clean. Um, why won't it let me throw away this bowl? Okay, thank you. Like, I want to make money! Oh, Reader, you're looking pregnant as always, sweetheart. All right, totter. Oh, gosh, I need food. Your brother's almost done cooking. Meet up over here. You go here. Can they get taken away for having low social? You should have food. So let's go. Uh, all the toddlers just meet up here. ASMR with Fanny. <laughs> Free ASMR! <laughs> I just fed my toddlers harvestables from their inventory to keep their skills grinding so they can age them quicker. Dude, that's not a bad idea. Grab a serving. Grab a serving. Grab a serving. And grab a serving. Oh, that onigiri looks so good. I think it's just hunger, but I don't know for sure. I don't think so. Greg and Turtle! Hi, honey! How was work, sweetheart? I hope you had a good day. So glad you're still on. I just got home. Congratulations on partner anniversary and returning. Thank you, sweetheart! Oh my gosh. Oh, and she's so dirty. Good thing they can't get taken away for being dirty, or I'd get in trouble all the time. Speaking of which, how the rest is my kids doing? Everybody's got skills and homework good? No. <laughs> what skill was I having you work on? Fitness? Do you want to come work on that again? Cider. <gasps> Cider, can you work on the piano just a little bit longer? Practice that. Spider, what about you? Ooh, your cooking is almost up! Spider, I'm so proud of you! Cook one more thing for us. Um, how about... You've made grilled cheese, grilled cheese before. Let's have vegetable dumplings. That sounds good. And then... Coriander, if you could come and clean that, I will take that. Okay. You're done over here. You need to go. Wow, you already have both those skills. Oh, imagination does get really fast with that. Wow, that's awesome. All right, why don't you come work on this skill? Teeter, how you doing? Oh, God, Teeter. Oh, Teeter, you are actually not far off with the movement. And if I put you in that tent, you might be good. Teeter, I know you're sad and lonely, but 
Wait a second, what is this? <gasps> More food! Clean that out. Uh, did it go in the fridge or is it lost to me? Clean out spoiled food. Put this plate away. Okay, you're eating. Did you eat? Yes, but you're tired. Oh, well, who cares? I want you to come work on this skill. Play, 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 play. Okay. You are tired, but I don't care. I want you to work on this until you pass out. There. Go do my bidding! Oh my, it just... I kept getting that glitch where they wouldn't finish all the food, so I'm like, screw it, you're all getting carrots and grapes. <laughs> you know what? You gotta do what you gotta do sometimes. Put that away. Did it go in the fridge? Or did it get lost somewhere? It didn't make a bloop sound. Did they get rid of the bloop sound? It'd be a weird thing to get. Apparently they got rid of the bloop sound, because everything's going in. Thank you for making the food! Thank you for the food. Alright, did you get to level 3 skill so you'll be good for school? Ah! God bless you, buddy! How about you, Cider? Your homework still isn't all the way done? God, what have you been doing? Oh, that's right, you were exhausted last time. If you're gonna do anything, sleep the rest of the way. I'll waste my time. Oh, and that freaking shower is still broken. I thought Tina Tinker came in and fixed crap for us. Coriander! Repair this. And then come and mop up thy puddles. Um, did you have crap in your inventory? Yes, you did. And then that glass for more money. Guys, I'm cruising now. I think I'm getting the hang of this again. Oh, there's more plates. So many things. Do, do, do. Okay. Yes, Athena Freya. Freya uh, I put in the Discord today. I saw Pixelate posted a video about a potential uh, leak on a Sims 4 horses pack. Um, I'm very excited. I hope they do it well. I don't know if it'll be as cool as it was in The Sims 3 because there's no open world, so you can't just ride the horse anywhere you want. I'm sure you'll be able to ride them around the, you know, the block and the area that you have to explore. I'm sure they'll be able to ride it around that. But I hope they add some things to make it really cool. And I hope the animal's quality looks better, like, than the llamas and stuff and the cows. Like, I hope they still look cute. But I don't see them becoming... Aw, thank you so much, Slender, for helping. But I don't see them looking, like as amazing as they did in the sims 3 i thought they looked pretty realistic for the sims 3. i'm sure they'll be in sims 4's funny style because they have to match the rest of the animals so i kind of wonder how they'll look but i'm pretty confident it's a good sign uh that they're actually going to come out with that pack because when um it was leaked onto a certain site and when that certain site gets news of sims 4 packs Usually they're correct. They predicted the Sims for high school correctly, and a couple other packs. Um, oh, what did I do? So, I think it's a pretty good chance that we're actually getting that pack. Kitsun! Thank you so much for gifting 10 subs to the community! To Mew, to your boy, your best friend, uh, to Jess, to Julie, to Peanut Butter, to Tabby Ann, to Mama, to Stibs, to BBG and to Chris, Crystally, Crystally. If you received a gift sub from Kitsune, please tell them thank you because they're so freaking sweet and gifted a total of 800 subs to the channel uh, because they're freaking amazing. Kitsune, I'm so glad that you're still here, honey, and I hope you're having a wonderful, wonderful time. You are the sweetest human being. Is girl gonna have these babies before? Birth and question marks. She, may, she should have these babies before the end of the stream. I don't really want to end the stream until she has these kids. So I'd like to get ourselves back on the track that we were on. Oh, girl. Oh, 
all right, mom. You need to take care of this girl. I don't think she's gonna wanna do the things I need her to do unless she gets cleaned. So let's go ahead and take care of her. Flounder is calling, want to chat. No, I'm sorry, we don't have time to chat, Flounder. I love you so much, buddy, but I don't have time. Do, 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 okay, thank you so much. Good, 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 good. Hey, Cheddar went to work! Way to go, Cheddar. Work hard, buddy. Oh, he looks so professional in his little outfit. Cheddar, you big boy. Uh, Coriander, I hope you were doing well. Sell all that in your inventory. Have you... No, you haven't. Oops, yeah, I guess you can add that to your favorites. You didn't do that thing, though. I would like you to go work out. Thank you. Did you do your homework? Yes, you did. Beautiful. Did you have extra credit work you could do? Aha! Yes, you do. Spider, I know you're good. We were slacking, but somehow you got ahead of the others. So, I'll give that to you. Mom, I told you to give this chick a bath! Um, give a bath to Teeter. She's all dirty. <laughs> She's a beautiful little girl. She's all dirty. I'm sorry, is your skill done with that? Nope. So you will be continuing to work on this for a little while longer, buddy. No sleeping for you yet. How are you doing? Why are you sleeping? Okay, I guess you're really tired. You're in the red and you're gonna be bothering mom here shortly and we don't have time for that. So you can get some sleep. Ah, oh, why? Didn't mom just clean you? Didn't mom just clean you? Wait a second. <gasps> Totter's already aged up? What about Teeter? Teeter! <laughs> Teeter, you better hurry up because somehow Totter has all three skills in the gold and you are still two away. <gasps> What's happening to you? What's happening to you? Oh, okay, she's fine. I thought she was dying. I was concerned because usually when the game snaps on to a sim, something bad's happening to them, but apparently she was just learning things. So you're gonna stream for three more hours tonight? Heck no. Heck no. We have like a half hour left. Oh, JK, I've been watching shows, so I don't want the stream to end. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, and when you are done, I would like you to come play inside this tent. Apparently, it increases your imagination super freaking fast. So we're gonna come do that. And I could get these kids up to kids too. That'd be pretty lit if I got them up to kids too. I'd be pretty good if that happened. Alright, clean this up and then you can go to is something broken again? I thought we fit and we still shower with dresses on. Nice. Go repair that. I thought we fixed that. Apparently we didn't. You know what? I guess you can give Totter a bath because Totter is good to age up. Might as well clean him if we're at that point. Alright, she completed her extra credit. Super proud of that. Game, catch up to yourself. Not doing it. Okay. Um. <laughs> but no, I'm glad you guys um, were able to find other means to entertain yourself while I was gone. I'm sorry I made you guys wait. But you know, baby boy has uh, since taken my attentions. And it's been pretty fun. I've enjoyed being his mommy. It's just crazy for me to think that I have a kid now, you know? Like, I went from no child to child. And that's whack. 
I have somebody I'm responsible for now. And actually, I'm really missing him right now. <laughs> like, I just want to go snuggle him. I'm going to snuggle him so hard when I get back. Ugh. I struggled so bad when I, the first week that I had him, um, I had severe, severe, like, debilitating, crippling anxiety when it came to him sleeping. Because I was afraid that he would spit up and choke in his sleep. And if I wasn't awake to watch him, something bad was going to happen to him. Like, that was my mindset when in that very first week that he was born. In the very first week that we brought him home, especially. Because um, we stayed you know, an extra, like, day at the hospital or whatever. An extra night or two at the hospital. Um, and I was terrified. I, was, I couldn't get any sleep. Um, so me and Max were, for the first week, we went on three-hour shifts where one person would stay up with him at all times for three hours, and the other person would sleep for three hours. Then that person would wake up, they would stay up with him for three hours, and the other person would sleep for three hours. Well, you can't do that for long. You start to become debilitatingly tired. At least I was, because I had, um, I was still healing. I obviously, you know, after giving birth and stuff like that. But at night, I would get... I'd be just strict with fear. I would be so anxious and scared the whole time. And it was terrible. So basically we would just stay up with him at all times. I used to have a crib, I had a crib in our room, but even if I put that crib next to the bed, I couldn't see him really through the bars and make sure he was okay. So I couldn't go to sleep when he slept. Um, so what I ended up doing after some beautiful advice from Athena and a couple other friends who've had babies in the past that I know in, in real life, um, they told me to get a bedside bassinet. And so, like, because safe sleep is really important to me. I don't really want to co-sleep because that scares me even more. Like, I worry that I'll roll on to him or, you know, like, he'll suffocate. Because our mattress is really cozy and it dips. And I would just worry that he would suffocate and stuff. So um, co-sleeping is not something I wanted to do. I'm, that terrifies me. Um, it just wasn't for me. So, I got a bedside bassinet that it's right next to the bed. It hooks up to my bed and everything, so I can reach into the bassinet. I can see him, but he has his own safe sleeping spot, so I know nothing's going to happen to him. Um, that's, you know, my fault, like smothering him or something like that, because I can't roll into his bassinet. But I did that, and my anxiety went away, and I have been doing so... Oh, the tent is fully occupied. I thought it was saying that she was getting taken away and I was terrified. But I was like so scared for a long time. But I'm better now. I have him sleeping next to me every night. I'm doing a lot better. Mm -hmm. When you were gone, I jokingly asked to see streamers' toes and cop blocked. What the heck? That's me. I'm like with... That's me. That's me. I'm like that with my son 24-7. Oh, it's scary. It's okay, Mandy. We come second to baby rider. We wouldn't have, miss it, have it any other way. Oh, thank you, Alice. Um. Oh, Mama Athena coming in clutch. <laughs> I've heard owl at thing can help, but it also can make for anxiety worse because sometimes it can go off for no reason. So my, my aunt actually gave me her owlet um, that she had. I actually never ended up using it because my bassinet like wasn't like it needs a flat surface to sit on and it's like a fabric underneath the mattress of the bassinet I have like because the bassinet like the mattress for the bassinet has like a stiff board on the bottom of it and padding on the top but you can like lift it up because it's a collapsible bassinet you can take anywhere so it didn't have an actual solid surface it could sit on so I never ended up using it so I have to just give it to my next aunt who's having her baby in like a month or two. Or no, just a month. I think she's 37 weeks. Um, so I'm going to give it to my other aunt who wants to borrow it as well. So I had the outlet available to me, but I didn't end up using it. So I know someone who accidentally fell asleep while snuggling their hamster. Safe to say she only she woke up. Oh, God. Do, do, do. Okay, is she ready to age up yet? Is she, how's that imagination? Okay, it's going up, but it's not going up quickly. And both of these kids have decided to sleep. How bad is your sleep? It's not that 
dad, you big baby. Work on the xylophone. Okay, the rest of the kids should be doing fine. Mama, how are you? Holy crap, Bree! Why did- why is no one her parent- fine, I'll just pay for it. Why is, like, none of my sims taking care of themselves? So come over here, go to the bathroom, take a shower, come get some leftovers, and then go to sleep. Like, why? Like, she has full ability to take care of herself, and she's not taking care of herself. Like, honey, you're pregnant, you need to do stuff. I am drifting off. Love you. Good night. Good night, Athena! <laughs> yeah, I was like that with my second and third, or my first, but my second third, I don't have as much anxiety. I feel like I'll be better with more kids in the future because, you know, I'll be more sure. But Sid still scares me. Like, I'm still terrified of the idea of that. But I'm sure everything will be fine. And she's passing out. Breeder! I'm a bad mama. Look, my poor breeder. This woman is heavily pregnant. And I have been ignoring her. And look at the, the prices we pay for paying it or for not paying attention to our pregnant women. Pay attention to your pregnant ladies, you guys know. You never know how much they're struggling. Um, the rest of this week, though, every time I'll be going live, I'll be going live around 7. So we won't be going as late into the night for those of you that are getting tired and having to go to bed. So my next Sim stream will be at 7. Um, and the stream after that for Sims will be at 7. Tomorrow I'll be going live with Disney Dream My Valley around 10. And anywhere between 9, 10, 11 o'clock tomorrow. Eastern Standard Time, probably. Whenever my game gets the update and we're good to go. That's when I'll go, like, uh, go live. So as soon as my update's ready and I'm ready to go live, I'll be going live in the morning. And the update doesn't come out till 9 o'clock. I don't know if that's Eastern Standard Time or some other time, so I have to check the time zones. Your sims are so pretty. Oh, thank you, honey! I tried streaming 100 Baby, but, um, yeah, that challenge got put to the back burner quickly! Yeah. Megan, it's hard! <laughs> We're only at 30. Well, potentially more, depending on how many she's having with this pregnancy. When she first got pregnant, there was only another slot for one more kid. But I'm hoping that she's pregnant with at least twins. We've never had a single baby, right? Yeah, no. Have we ever had a single pregnancy? I don't remember. I don't think we've had a single baby. I think we've always at least had twins. But we had two sets of triplets. Which is terrible. Back to back. I hated that. I hope that never happens again. Kind of scared of it, actually. <laughs> Hopefully we don't have back to back babies. I don't want back to back babies. Come on, breeder. We only have 15 minutes of this stream left. I might have to save your baby. Oh. oh! <laughs> Look at her listening to me. She's in labor, baby. Let's go to the hospital and have this baby. Have it be at hospital. Oh, this is Vladdy Daddy's baby, too, so we have to invite Vladdy Daddy. Vladdy Daddy. Wait. Oh, there he is. Let's go, Vladdy. <laughs> do, 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 do. Kitsu, thank you so much for getting five subs to the community for a total of 845. Good lord. If you received a get a sub from Kitsu, please tell them a big thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for that. To Christy Lee, to Mama, to Sid. No, 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 that's an old one. Oh, the new one hasn't popped up. It hasn't picked its victims yet. I was playing Sims and my Sims parents both died in the same game. Oh, God. Sorry, I'm a lurker. I just had problems with my child's two month shots. Oh no! <gasps> no! Oh my gosh, Ryder's two month appointment is this week. Oh no, is he gonna have to get shots? Oh no! Oh no, I can't. Oh. 
Is Raider gonna have to get shots? Oh, maybe. I mean, he's gonna get them because, you know, that's your kids. Technology is here for a reason. But, um, like, I'm, I'm glad he daddy ran, so that's nice. It's not a surprise. They always run. And I love how our daughter-in-law always delivers our babies. Shots are no fun. I definitely cried. I'm gonna cry so hard. Uh, Bliss, enjoy your gifted sub. Agark. Agark. Enjoy your sub. Val, enjoy your sub. Shelby and Little Mix, enjoy your sub, guys. Give him Tylenol beforehand. Interesting. Oh, I've never given him medicine before. That's also scary. All right, come on, have these babies. I was more hurt than my own son. I cried when my baby got shots too. It's a boy! Um, I am biased. I don't know if I want my son's name to be a bladdy daddy baby. I would like my son to be a more conventionally attractive baby. So if anybody suggests Ryder, I will not have it. But I need those boy dur names. So I hope you guys have those ready to go. I'll be picking my five favorites and then we'll be voting on which boy dur name that we like the best. So, I'll need those boy dur names coming in. I'm waiting. Um, I think it's a lot at two. I think it's a lot at two months. No! <laughs> Ooh, I like that one! Ooh, that's a good one. I'm trying to find ones that we haven't had. Oh, that one's cute. I'm trying to, yeah, I'm trying, it's hard to remember which ones we haven't had. Um, I don't think we've had that one. Have we had that one? Okay, let me see. Kizzy, we've had Murder, Lavender, Thunder, Salamander, Tinder, Calendar, Jupiter, Invader, Chatter Tater, Wander Reader, Flounder Islander, Tomato Slander, Feeder Bleeder, Cheddar Coriander, Amanda Cider Spider, Hater Slender, Harvester Teeter Totter, Cole, Colder Carolder. All right, so we haven't had that one. All right, I picked my favorites. All right, go ahead and please cast your votes. If you do not see the poll pop up, refresh your stream, it should pop up. But the uh, the uh, names are Freeloader, which is awesome. I love that one. We have Binder or Binder. Well, I guess, no, it's Binder. It's Binder. Binder, Vader, Spender, or Xander. Reminder, this is Laddie Daddy's baby, so. Oh gosh, if it's twins. Oh my god, what if this is our first single baby? Honestly, I could use a single baby right about now. Good lord, I've had mm, overwhelming all these infants. Looks like we have about 15 seconds left to go ahead and cast your vote. Reminder, if you don't see it, refresh, and you should be able to cast your votes. Looks like it's a battle between Freeloader and Xander at this point. Freeloader in first, Xander following in second, Spender in third. Binder at a lousy one. <laughs> <laughs> and freeloader! <laughs> freeloader. Freelo is so cute! Alright, freeloader is up. <gasps> yes! We still have twins! Oh god, what if it's triplets? Oh god, okay, okay. All right, pull Freelo and Spender. Oh my gosh. So this one is a girl, so I'll need those girl ones. If we have Freeloader, Spender should be um, the other one. But now I kind of wish Freeloader would have been the girls and Spender would have been the boys. Because for some reason, Freelo sounds more like a girl's name. And Spender, sound, like Spen, sounds more like a guy's name. Maybe we should switch those. Should we switch it? If Spender wins, we might be switching Freeloader and Spender to the boys and girls because I think 
Free love sounds cuter like a girl and spender sounds more like a guy to me. Cinder. Have we had a cinder? Have we had a cinder? I don't think so. All right, I have picked my five favorites. You may go ahead and cast your votes. Refresh poll if you don't see it. So there's Spender, Cinder, Trader, Elder, and Vander. No, sorry, Vendor, sorry, Vendor. Those are your options. Choose why I say, my friends. I just looked up a lot of words that end in dir one day. <laughs> Oh my gosh. You came prepared. Honestly, it's a good idea. <laughs> it looks like it's going to be Spender or Elder, which makes sense for a vampire, honestly. Elder, because, you know, they ate, like... Oh, what if they're not vampires, though? What if only one of them is a vampire again? It'll be funny if it's just the girl this time. Like, Velad can only create girl vampires, and his sons are never, but... All right, Spender. Okay, can I switch the... I'm going to switch the names. So, the girl's going to be free low. The girl's going to be free loader, and the boy is going to be Spender. Because I want to switch them. Because it sounds better that way. So, there's still the names we voted on, but I'm switching them. So, right now, they're both free loader for a second. <laughs> But we're going to switch it. The boy is Spender. And the girl is Freeloader. Oh, gosh. That... Oh! oh I barely got time to do that. <laughs> um, but when we come back, we'll be going ahead and aging the infants up in... Or, sorry, aging the newborns up into infants, because I'm going to end things here. I don't have time to go ahead and spend more time doing that, or I'm going to go overtime. And I want to get back to my son. <laughs> I miss my son. <laughs> So we'll be saving that for next stream. It'll give you something to look forward to. Um, if you're not on the Discord yet, please go ahead and join the Discord um, so you can chat to me and see, you know, if I give updates and things when I go live and you can talk to me when I'm not uh, busy streaming. So, um, the game legit said get out. I know. I also have to go to the bathroom really bad. That coffee went through me. So we're going to save the doing the baby stuff for next time. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and change the little boy's name uh, to Spender eventually. But other than that, uh, we're gonna be ending things here, guys. So. So, I hope you guys have had a wonderful time. I have missed you guys so much. I'm so glad to be back at it. I'm a little nervous, so I might be only doing three streams a week, depending. Um, so I might be doing just three streams a week, three or four, but it probably won't be more than that. So three to four times a week is probably what I'll be streaming. So I hope you guys have fun. I'm saving right now, for those of you that are wondering. I am saving. But I love you guys so much. I've had so much fun. I can't wait to see you guys again. Like I said, I'll be streaming tomorrow morning, playing Disney Dreamlight Valley. So if you're interested in that, check me out there. And just spend some time with me if you can. I love you guys so much, and I'll be seeing you guys the next time. I love you. Bye!